is it, the final qualifier for Chambers of the Realms, season two. This is the top eight action. It was the craziest one yet. And only one of these players gets the final spot into the finale. Do me the biggest favor, slap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to this crazy action. The finale is gonna be taking place March 8th, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone on my Twitch channel. You are not gonna wanna miss out on this craziness. I'll see you then. It all started when Kabu said destroy the form that had the alliance. They sought the most powerful beings across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. <laughs> Everybody to week eight. This is it. It is do or die. Ladies and gentlemen, the final week before our finale. Only one more competitor tonight can make it into that top eight. Destroyer, the hype is real. Oh, How you feeling It tonight? is so real. I mean, listen, I don't know about you, but the last couple of days, Mortal Kombat 1 has been feeling really juicy. Hell and yes. Is, Hell yes. And a big part of it has got to be because of Peacemaker. The character is super fun. I've come to a conclusion the character is super broken as well. And if a majority of this top eight's not playing Peacemaker, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> the character's hitting 50% combos mid-screen, almost 70% combos in the corner. I, Caboose was showing me some wild stuff last night, Dude, and Peacemaker is one bar stupid. in the corner with Striker. He is ridiculous. The damage output from this character is nuts. I'm feeling it already day one with the character, day two now. And man, I, like, let's just get through this top eight so that we can freaking go back into the lab with this character because there's so many things you could do with them. I feel like we still haven't even scratched oh, the surface no, definitely for not. the potential. I was seeing, I was playing online against people rocking Jack's cameo with him, which you can get some crazy yeah. setup. He has the force field. There's also like some people were rocking uh, Scorpion. Obviously, yes. some dude. He is one of the coolest DLC characters I, we've ever gotten I, in Mortal I mean, Kombat. I mean, th this is what we got to see moving down the line for Mortal Kombat 100%. 1 Caboose. Like, th this character literally came as a complete package. He has everything you can ask for. It's not even funny. There's and only one thing missing. Only what? one thing missing. It's not from his gameplay, but why does he not have gear with no helmet? What's that about? I, I thought he did. I saw um I saw like a video or is it when he's when out. they're doing a fatality it. on him, he doesn't have a helmet, right? Is that what happens? Well, yeah, when you do fatality or if you do fatal blow, the characters yeah, like yeah. don't have their mask or, or all that, right? So but because in the show he's he's wearing his costume without his helmet a lot. So I thought for sure they would have had Well, a, hey, look, all hope no is helmet. not gone just yet, Caboose. Um this season introduced some DLC palettes. So maybe that was like a tease that they're they're gonna show some love to some of the DLC characters yeah, further yeah, down yeah. the line. I'm Yo, trying to keep my hopes with that. Before we continue, I gotta give a shout out to all the resubs in the chat. Wolves as well, Skeptum dropping 10 gifted before we went live. Love that, thank you guys so much. We got a hype train going too, that's almost at level five. Yo, you guys are insane. Real really, quick. really appreciate the love and support. Can we get um Hourglasses of Rain PSN? I know it's Bratz Pack, but I don't really remember how to- I think it's Bratz Pack 2009 with two A's in the Bratz. Oh. You want me to send okay. the invites? You want me to send the invites? I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, I was just missing the second A. But yeah, I mean, Caboose, yeah. last qualifier. This is it. Only one more competitor is going to be making it into the top eight finale. We got a stacked lineup here tonight for everybody. Hourglass of Rain versus Online Kale is going to be the first match. Then we got Red Nose oh, versus man. Chuleta Chuleta. And then on the lower side, Dexy Dog versus Six. And then Tweety versus Han Rashid. I mean, I can't Holy stress this smokes. enough, Caboose. Every single week so far, we've been kind of seeing the new blood on top, which is kind of wild. Yes. 
and it's just going to show wait whoa oh oh never mind what did i did i invite us to a private did match? you invite me to a one v one i did <laughs> I, I was invited, like, hold on, we got two peacemakers on I, the screen. I, I, I just, I just invited everybody to a 1v1. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's redo that. All right, redo exclamation that. point, stupid idiots oh, in the chat. Yeah. You know, I deserve it that time. I deserve it that time. <laughs> Yo, but Destroyer, I'm so hyped. And yes, I totally agree with you. We've definitely been seeing lately a lot of new blood taking over for this season of Champions of the Realms. But now we got heavy hitters in this top eight. Tweety, Han Rashid. It sucks that both of them are on the loser side, man. I'd love to see them both popping off throughout the top eight today. But one of them is not making it into the finale once we get to that match. Yo, again, level three hype train. Really, really appreciate you guys for all the love and support. All right, that you're re have here. been sent. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're getting stuff started really crazy with the first match. Hourglass of Rain versus Online Kale. Online Kale, you know, this dude is is definitely uh, a new player coming into Mortal Kombat 1 and just dominating the competition. Um, before we got into this top 8, I was telling you guys on Wednesday, Online Kale is fresh off of a tournament victory. So let's see if he can keep up this streak tonight against Brat's Pack here in the final qualifier for Champions of the Realm Season 2. You know, it blows right, my mind right. that eight weeks flew by that quick. And I hope it just goes to show the players, like, there's no time to waste, man. When we start up season three, you guys need to sign up. You got to try to secure your spot ASAP because these weeks fly by and you run out of room. I mean, we saw a lot of players trying to get into the finale this, uh, this week, Caboose. And a lot of heavy hitters just didn't make it into this top eight, which, which is wild. Um, yeah, I know. I know. Seriously. But hey. We are definitely not stopping at season two. The future for online tournaments in general looking so bright, especially now that we know that crossplay is coming to King of the Hill. I don't know how you feel been feeling about crossplay. You've been playing a lot of online and running into. I haven't even tried crossplay. Cross Honestly, it hasn't piqued my interest because right now, since we know crossplay isn't in King of the Hills, what's even the point of me, you know, dabbling with crossplay? But, That's but a, so you haven't tested out the I haven't, like, I haven't the, tested anything out regarding crossplay oh, okay. yet. Well, I, I have. I have crossplay on. I've been searching combat league and I've been searching casuals so far so good i won't say it's perfect um like there's a couple of matches that i run into where the the connections right, we a gotta send another wobbly. invite to online kill oh, okay okay he said it's not letting um, him join that's weird i'll send him another invite you know why he probably accepted the the invite to the private match i sent oh true 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 tell this stupid idiot to accept a new invite yeah I send him another invite but yeah, I mean, I've been drawing out the crossplay and like so far so good. I'm I'm keeping an eye out. Obviously, we're gonna see how it runs, and then obviously when when it comes to but King I didn't, of the I Hill, didn't quite hear you. How was it? Did did you test it? You played matches? It, it's been pretty good. It's been it's like smooth. I, the, there's been matches where I don't feel any lag or any issues, and there's some matches where it's wobbly. But I don't know if that's because of the crossplay or that's just because of the first in general. Um, so like so far so good is all I say. Yo. Destroyer, I've been wanting to tell you, have you seen the little Easter egg of Eagle eating the, the chip? I did, I did. It's so screen? sick. Like, bro, why did, so they, why did they give so much love to this dude, John Cena? I, I like, know. I feel like the dude pulled up to the studio and he, he, he was like, if y'all don't make me fire, I'm suing you guys. <laughs> Something happened where they just gave all the love to John Cena, man. Honestly, honestly, I love it, I love it. But okay, game one underway. The channel point betting is open if you guys want to vote on who you think is going to be winning this match between Hourglass of Rain and Online Kale. Hourglass of Rain with the signature Molina. Online Kale rocking the Liu Kang. Getting started but dropping the combo. And yo, can now, you, know, you were seriously. asking me earlier. You were asking me earlier what matchups I have the toughest time with when I'm playing online the Peacemaker. Dude, Melina is a freaking team in my butt. Man. Really? I haven't gotten to fight a Melina yet with Peacemaker. Liu Kang felt a little difficult as well, but once you start getting like used to these matchups, I feel like you gotta just throw yourself into the trenches, Caboose. Just go ahead, right. head on, learn the matchup, and once you start figuring out the things to do against these characters, it starts feeling so much better. But Liu Kang, I felt the same way, but once you start utilizing his uh, his um, freaking force field, it's GG. Jeez, bro. That's true. Liu Kang definitely suffers the most when you got the force field out with Peacemaker. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, wow, what a reaction from, from our glass of rain. Gonna catch him with the air ball roll. Getting a full combo there. Sets him up with the hearts unblockable. The uncrustables pressure. Very nice. Up here from our glass of rain. Sorry, from online kill. Yo, 
combo though. Listen, what's so funny about this combination of Liu Kang Chameleon? For some weird reason, when Liu Kang has access to the Melina variant of Chameleon, why does that overhead always hit? The character doesn't have any mix, right? It's, it's all mid. Magic, man. Dude, that overhead is just so trick. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> there from Hourglass of Rain to help him close out the first game as Destroyer exits the studio. Hourglass taking game one. And again, this is the winner's side, Destroyer. These matches are going to be so crucial for the competitors simply because of the fact that getting into that winner's finals and potentially having the chance to be in the grand finals of the winner's side, you want that. For week eight especially, you, you would want that every single week for a top eight. But for week eight, this is your last chance to make it into the finale. And oh my what God, what is that? that? <laughs> Who was that that we just got a glimpse of on the screen? I have no idea, but I don't really want to see it again. Was that uh, Jonathan Lucasamo in the flesh? Might be. might be, but okay. Kale popping out or putting out now with his main. We usually see Kale rocking the Baraka. Wasn't sure what the Liu Kang pick was for the start there. Although, Hourglass of Rain with this Molina still as punishing as ever. Okay, there's the throw off the strike the cameo. That's gonna be juicy. What's it gonna be? Just going for some staggers here. Goes to the tried and true down one Baraka rush. Good block. From Hourglass. Yeah, Hourglass Rain trying to hit him with a lot of hearts of blockables, but online kills doing a really good job just deep uh, with the defense against it. The down one on Wake Up, what a madman. Oh, no strike for Cameo. It's safe. Maybe he was expecting for that to hit. I mean, very ballsy move for online kill. A player that usually plays very textbook. You know, I, I figured he'd be uh, paying attention to the resources, but man, that's oh right, man. That's, right. that's going to be round number one for Hourglass Arena in game number two. Dangerous territory starting off here with online kill. Again, incredible defense from Hourglass of Rain. Not getting op opened up by anything here. Kale being real careful here. That striker cameo locked and loaded. Play himself safe. There's that back three. He's committing to the full string, which is dangerous. That second hit is a high. All I'm going to say is what the hell is the point of playing any character but Peacemaker? All he has to do is switch <laughs> to Peacemaker. Torpedo, torpedo, anti-gravity, force it's field, over. eagly, torpedo, anti-gravity, force oh, field, force. eagly, eagly, torpedo, torpedo. Eagly, eagly, and the air ball roll will connect. Hourglass of rain with a very convincing two games already, Destroyer. It's not looking good for online Kale. He's going to have to try and get that reverse 3 0. Is this a new Melina skin or has this been in the game? I think, is, isn't that the Titan Melina when you play through Invasion? The Titan Melina for this season? I think so, no? My god, so you're telling me this guy... I haven't seen so it. So you're telling me this, this guy ran through record. invasions already and got the Titan yeah. Melina skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are saying it's his. All right. Let's get a DQ on Hourglass of Rain. Yeah, let's do that. No, I'm kidding. This skin is sick, though. Wow. She really looking like the Empress of the Nether Realm right now. Here we go now into game three. Destroyer, do or die time. Well, not necessarily for online Kelly. Does not want to get sent to losers, though, I'd imagine. I mean, very fitting outfit for a player like Hourglass of Rain. He is essentially the final boss Molina, right? Right now, it seems that way. Okay, here we there go. It is down one Baraka Barrage, always catching people slipping. That's the blessing and the curse though of having that striker cameo, which sometimes when you're using it to keep you safe, it actually interrupts. A potential combo. Yeah, and you know what? I've been realizing, man, because I, I don't really dabble with striker a lot, and I noticed the, it, it's it's a it's a it's a method of to the madness using that cameo. Like right. you gotta know the spacings for the strings, so when you throw the nades, it actually locks down your opponent. So I've been seeing there's a lot of moves you can do with the striker nades, and you can simply just like dash forward, down poke to completely avoid the striker nades. So this, this striker stuff is actually calculated, chat. It may seem brain dead, but believe it or not, it's not. Quite a bit of thought goes into those setups. I know, I'm like, yo, connects the wow. full three big stuff there. He's gonna get the hard knockdown in the setup here. There's the striker can't get really it safe. Oh the man. Back three. He actually ended up pushing a button, but it looked like the nade jailed her there. 
Yeah, keep in mind it is not going for Hourglass of Rain. Okay, Striker cameo to the rescue. Her bar meter is there. Is Kale gonna use it for the breaker? No. Again as well, taking those hits. Gets caught by the overhead. Just a couple of hits away and wow. another overhead won't in the neck. Holy Hourglass of Rain with a quick 3-0 will send online Kale to the lower bracket. Oh man, into the fatality as well. Dude, Hourglass of Rain came here to play tonight. Jesus Lord. A quick 3-0 on online kill to get things started on the winner's side top 8 for the final qualifier. Definitely did not expect that. No, me neither. I mean, this Titan Molina, and that is going to be one to look out for as Hourglass of Rain now advances into the winner's final. Incredible stuff. Really good games for Hourglass of Rain here. And that's going to be Indeed. dropping down um, online Kale to face off against either Heinrich Sheet or Tweety. Oh, my sure. goodness. Uh, I do not envy the position that online Kale is in right now, but we'll get there when we get there. Up next is another match on the winner's side. Destroyer Red Nose against Chuleta. Chuleta. I cannot wait to see what goes down in this match here let's get these invites ready to go you got you got it i should get it yeah i should be good all right yeah i'm not quite sure what shuleta's psn in it may just be shuleta though so it's just shuleta yeah. you should be chilling with that all right rough start for online kale but he is still in this i mean just definitely has to get his head together maybe go to the lab learn a couple peacemaker bmbs come back <laughs> <laughs> Triple S plus tier after that, That's if all you know things. what I mean. That's no, I mean, things. seriously, Kaboot. You think I'm tripping when I say that? Like, the character I feel is really, really strong. And if you're competing, we're allowing this character in tournament. Take advantage. I don't know if I'm bugging or what, but chat, I want to know right now in Caboose's chat, your honest opinion of Peacemaker, where do you put him in the tier list? I put that dude Triple S plus above everybody else. The damage is stupid. S plus? No. Bro, the damage is stupid. He cannot get zoned. And the character, 50% every touch, bro. He, he, he definitely dumped there on the tier list. What's your chat saying? I don't even have it open. I don't know if he's top one. Oh, let me What's your chat saying right now? I don't even have it open. They're, they're saying you're a stupid idiot. It's really messed up. Just what was Johnny's mansion like? The definition of a you serious? really wealthy. It's really messed up. I didn't tell him to do that. Too. All right, I'm in my street. Either 100 gifted to my chat right now, and I uh, think it's straight. <laughs> you heard him, chat. He said you got to drop 100 gifted in the chat right now. Otherwise, you're getting destroyed. All right, here we go. Game one, destroyer on the way between Red Nose and Chuleta. That's how with the storm stuff. Young Chiquello, Young Storm Cello, Shuleta right now. I, I, you know, I am asking for a lot of Peacemaker, but at the same time, you know, it's it's literally down to the wire tonight. If only yeah. one player is getting that final spot. They're, these players are probably going to go with the characters they've been playing since the beginning of the Dinosaurs. Yeah, you can't blame them, honestly, considering the you situation can. that we're in here. You really can't. Here we go. We got Red Nose rocking a nerf, can she? I mean, we saw the character on Wednesday. It looks like nothing happened to him. Looks like plain old broken Kenji to me still. Interesting usage of that uh, Sub-Zero cameo there. He's gonna get the Ice Armor activated. Go for the oh, jump in, but here. an EX Shocker for the punish. Juleta's gonna get some juicy damage for that one. Straight into the chip out setups. He's using the Kano laser. He's got Sento out. Right, I need y'all to pay attention. Look at, look at the dead. Oh, wait. Good block. And the Kano Ball actually punished him. I didn't even notice the timer destroyer. My goodness. Good stuff from Chuleta just staying alive. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Kind of just backing off here. Utilizing this, uh, this stance to get a little zoning going on. Very good. Oh my god, that forward 2-2 two -two was near frame perfect. He caught him on the back dash. Dragged him to the corner right now. Storm Cell with the Kano plus frames. Staggers out oh, one over the place. Block. Jesus. That one flawless block allowed Red Nose to avoid so much chip damage. That's what is incredibly key when you're playing against a Raiden player. 
land your flawless blocks on those form cells. You're not kidding. Sometimes I really feel like the only way to beat Raiden is by having your flawless blocks on lockdown. Because the character is doing, like, basically combos on block. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That chip out is nothing to shy away from. I mean, speaking of chip out, this character, too, Kenshi wow. with the Sento sandwich, that is just as unstoppable as the Storm Cell Destroyer. You want me to end the stream so we can play some Peacemaker? All right, let's bet. do that right now. Let's run some stuff. Yo, my God. You know what's another character I feel we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, for Season 3? Quan Chi, bro. Yo, I ha I've run into a couple Quan Chi. That portal, that new portal really makes a difference for the character. Not, not even that, but the, the, have you gotten a, a feel of the new uh, Bone Prison that he does? The man no, is playing Diablo 4, basically. He's playing the Diablo 4 Bone, you know, uh, bone Bill. You know what I wanted to ask you about, too? I don't know if you saw online, but one of the bosses, apparently, in Invasions is Reiko, and he's got a new move in that. Wait, what? Yeah, you fight Reiko, and he's got, like, a like a Jade Staff thing. Oh, they, they tend to give a lot of the bosses in Invasions new moves. That goes to show but you But I wonder if that's it. a sneak peek, you know, considering what they did with, um... Quan Chi. Oh, unfortunate fatal blow there for Red Nose connecting it. Um, from what they did with Quan Chi adding a new move, like, I wonder if, uh, he's gonna get a new move as well. They give that guy a Jade Spear Spin. <laughs> I'm quitting MK. Did <laughs> they give right to that? <laughs> I'm quitting MK. I see you're done. Oh, and there we go. The projectiles from full screen allow Shuleta to secure game two. No, was I that think, game one? That was game one, bro. No, no, no. Was it? That was game one. The longest oh, game one man. you've ever witnessed. I'm lost. That was, uh, that was definitely, um, longer than I expected. Listen, <laughs> I know it more than like half the time imagine. I'm slacking on the job, but I had it right there. That was game That's one. I thought that was game seven. Hey, you know what? That's it. I'm taking you to the preschool. Stupid idiot. So you're telling me that wasn't game six right there? I'm taking you to preschool, you stupid idiot. You, you're telling me right now, honest to God, it's true. That, that wasn't the 15th game right there. And you're saying that with complete and utter honesty. Uh, what's happening here? What what is the delay? Does it is um is Red Nose trying to contact us on the court or something? What's going on? Okay, no. Looks like he was just taking a second there to kind of get the download. Always good to take a breather. Honestly, what he might have been doing, he was probably reaching out to Fall and Sweat to play for him. <laughs> might be a good idea. That's the new tech. I think Raiden got a new skin too this season. Didn't he get the dark, the dark Raiden outfit somewhere? Uh, I don't know if it's, it's been added. I, I think feel, so. That's from the story. I feel like for sure they'll they'll add. It. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get you a four meat pizza from Red Baron. I'll leave it in the oven. You can thank me later. Really good conversion right now, Shuleta. Getting some big damage for Raiden. Goes straight into the Storm Cell chip out setups. Okay, he's gonna put the ice armor. Red Nose just kind of walking him down here. I'm loving the neutral. Catches him with the throw. Oh no, Chuleta not even giving him a chance to utilize that Sub-Zero armor. Every single time he tries to get it started, he gets the Kano Ball to kind of just get his way regardless. And that's what's so good about Kano, you know, uh, sometimes people say Striker is the better cameo over Kano, but you gotta remember, he's got Ball Rope, which is not a projectile, so a lot of those like those force fields and ice armors from Sub-Zero, it'll completely get shut down with Kano Ball. Absolutely. Look at this chip, boy. Actually, no chip at all. Red Nose caught the flawless block, avoided all of that. 
Wow, wow, loves it. Oh, nice flawless block there. Gets caught by the second storm cell though, and it was meter burn for the extra damage. I like and that. And the pop up. I like that. Let's out on a near flawless round here so far, Destroyer. Down for Storm Cell into Kano Ball. Just gonna back away. Doesn't want to overextend it here. Shuleta has a fat life lead. He can play the timer if he wants to. Surprised he hasn't Thunderflyed out of here yet. Oh my god, that could have been the jump in of the ages. Fully charges the force push. Red Nose working on a comeback here, Caboose. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, tried to armor through. Oh, he could have picked that up probably with Sento. Red Nose can make the comeback. Oh he keeps it up to the armor. God. 10 seconds left on the clock. Why is Sento oh, still on the screen? Goodness. Sento is unstoppable. It's finally gone. Two. Oh, one. one. Oh, he tried to get it down to Destroyer. Oh, that's. that's Sequence lasted a full what? 30 seconds. Why did that last so long? <laughs> yeah, this character needs another nerf now that he's stuck. <laughs> Holy cow. But it was like he had extra time on Senzo. Like, am I tripping? I don't even know, man. I just... All I know for sure Wait, is... Um, look! When he does that forward four kick, why is the cameo uh, thing, like, draining slower? Are you looking at that? Oh, I wouldn't think Senzo. Bro, every oh, time no, he, okay. I just look back. Every You're time right. he does the, the, the laser. What is happening with this character? The, the, the cameo bar like stutters. It was definitely uh taking up more time, bro. That's weird. Is that intentional? I don't know, but I know these Kenji players love to abuse bugs. And that's a fact. Interesting. No, don't say interesting. That grab, that little Sento grab restand, that's a bug. <laughs> He's got to be extra Chuleta careful needs here. An opening finds it, and that's game two. Going to Chuleta. Oh, he be going for a big brutality combo. No, okay, we're just showing off a little. Showing off a little. He's showing us he got those cameo combos. All right, we we, we see you. We see you, Chuleta. I like it. I like it. I like we it. see you. So right now, things aren't looking too bright for Red Nose here. If Shuleta ends up taking this, moving on to the winner's, um, winner's final to face off against Hourglass of Rain, that's going to be super interesting, Caboose. That's right. And yo, Destroyer, we got to give a shout out to the Match Arena. Our prize pool now at $3,110. Wow. Thank you to Cruz for the $100 donation saying thank you, Destroyer and Caboose. We really, really appreciate that. Of course, Skeptum, who gifted 10 subs earlier in the stream, dropping a whopping $1,800 total Jesus. in our prize pool. We really, really appreciate it. If you want to add more to that prize pool, if you want to make some more hype for this tournament, you just hit exclamation point match arena in the chat. This is the final week before our finale. The finale goes down on March 8th. And we hope to see you guys there. And we hope to see you guys bring in the hype in the chat like you do each and every week. 100% you can say that again, man. You know, the support has been unreal for the series so far. You know, we were in a real dark space for Mortal Kombat 1, but things are starting to look pretty, pretty bright. No doubt, no doubt. Here we go. We're getting right back into this red nose. He's going to have to make the comeback of the ages if he wants to see himself in the winner's side still. Caboose, this guy has to reverse 3 0 Shuleta. Not just Shuleta, but a demon Raiden player. Damn, right about that. Hayate in the chat saying, Buff Kenshi, can we get a ban on that really quick? Can we just ban Hayate? <laughs> Let's get a ban on Hayate for not playing in the tournament. Yo, for real. Kidding, dude. Don't do it. Go now, Shuleta. 40% on that. Very respectful. Into the Storm Cell. When in doubt, Storm Cell it out. Young Chiquella would be proud. Now, Shuleta 
Kind of doing what he's been doing best throughout this set. Get that major life lead and then just back it up. Especially when you're playing against the Kenji, who relies so heavily on getting those setups, on giving that Sento out. Just backing up, letting the time run out. Puts him in such a tough position. Puts him in a pickle. It puts him in a pickle jar. Two extra pickle juice. Oh, that's nice. Tries to go for the jump in. Thunder flies right out of there. Escape. Look at the damage he takes. Look at the damage he takes. Look at the damage he takes. Sento's approaching. Look at the damage he's taking. You know, you don't want to play that game with Sento too much because it, it could hurt you in the long run. Oh. Oh. That's not going to work. Suleta gets to the other side. Just a couple seconds left. Fredno's not able to land those full screen projectiles and gets timed out. Man, Chuleta, you might be laming it out, but it is working. Final qualifier, dude. This is exactly what I expected tonight. If I don't see Peacemaker's torpedo wing all over the place with strike grenades to back him up after this, then I don't think these people are really trying to get into the finale. Okay, come on. If I see stupidity in the chat one more time, somebody's gonna get knocked out. <laughs> and it's most likely gonna be Spanky Doodle. I think that's everybody's favorite command. <laughs> The overhead connects, but he shut down Sento before he got the conversion. Goes right back into the chip out setup. Down one Storm Cello, Young Chiquello, Young Rack Switchello is in the building. Oh no, wait, Chuleta. Yo, your boy's in the screen. Oh, oh he's this. He's so. Oh, he can't even watch. He can't even watch. Armor running out once again. Chuleta Ooh. with the armored thunder flies again. There using the Kino Cami to stay safe off that storm cell into the throw. That's the round. Match point now for no, that's it. That's GG's. Oh, that is the match. <laughs> Wait, oh my goodness. I'm not that's really GG's. That's GG's. That Yo, he, he gave him a little tea bag too at the end there. Did you see that? Did. Man, I think I got to change the uh, stupid idiot command to be about me. I've been lost. I, well, listen, I've been trying to tell the chat you're the biggest idiot of 2024, but nobody wants to believe me. Everybody <laughs> thinks I'm the stupid idiot. So I don't even know what I'm Let's supposed to do anymore. Another three, Dude, Destroyer, it's champs of the 3-0 for week eight? What's going on here? I like it that way, man. Let's get back to playing Peacemaker. The sooner, the better. <laughs> Let's wrap this up real quick. Let's wrap this up, man. My goodness. Well, there you have it. Now, Destroyer, we enter the loser side of the bracket where we're going to see Dexy, a dog. Faced off against VLE6. VLE6, the, uh, the the just nasty Heidi. This should be interesting for sure. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. No, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. But but VLE6 um, has a very similar play style to just nasty. It makes sense. I believe they're they're both in the same team. Or they, they were all both saying, in the same team. All I'm saying is if six pops in or jumps into this king of the hill and he's not rocking the umk3 uh smoke skin then like what are we even doing seriously that skin is so no. fire what are we even doing that skin is so fire it adds a completely I, different consider, vibe to I smoke they're banning him if he's not using the umk3 smoke costume all right i'm gonna have to agree you know i saw somebody asking um and they were saying where's the rain version of those skins that yo i totally where's the agree. rain version no no love for rain well, like, did they decide not to do it because he's not, he doesn't really fight too much like a ninja anymore, you know? Like, he kind of has this whole magical wizard style. Would that yeah. costume fit with his play style in this game? Is yeah, the real who cares? Question. He's, a, he's an OG MK ninja. Like, you got to give him the costumes, man. Like, where's the love? Well, they gave him the, they gave him the classic uh, Raiden skin, movie skin instead before they gave him that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, seriously. No, for real. Where's like, where's his classic ninja costume or anything like that? I I'm telling you, they got to give some love to Rain, man. He he's definitely he's still one of the coolest characters to watch play at a high level in Mortal Kombat One. I agree, he's really good, um, and he's he can actually pair up with a lot of cameos pretty well. I see Aquaman, uh, Aquaman rocking Rain with the Motaro. He's yeah. really good with uh, with Sub Zero, and he's got a lot of diversity. And then also. Bandinos, we can't forget about that legend. Yeah, he goes crazy in with the rain, the rain and the Cyrax. Wait, he is in our top eight, right? Yep. My God, this week, the, the eight uh, weeks have been going so. Listen. He's already in. He's already in. Is it okay? Is that not him?
Yeah, okay. I, Yo, he's bro, got I invited, he's I invited got the, the wrong Dexy dog, and I hope they do not join. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he is rocking. Okay, perfect, perfect. Shout out to Six. Rocking the UMK3 skin. You know, so, for some weird reason, something told me to invite Dexy Dog myself, you I'm stupid idiot. You know, I invited the wrong one, though, so if he joins. If he joins, he better at least play Peacemaker for our troubles. Oh, man. At least he better play Peacemaker for our troubles. Hey yo, for some reason Dexy Dog will never switch off of this stanky leg Melina skin right here. This dude, he likes crusty, crusty crabs Melina. Great jacket, crazy Melina. This is crusty crabs. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so well, Melina right here. Oh man. Good pressure though. The Melina's low key taking over tonight. We got six using smoke with chameleon. I'm convinced Chameleon pairs very well with any character in this game. She's, a, she's one of those universal cameos. You know, Big like, time. like Kung Lao, like Striker. She's one of those cameos where you, you pair her with anyone and they're going to excel. You pair her with anyone is party time. Here we go now, Destroyer 6. Popping off there with the Melina cameo on the ball roll. Backing up now. Waiting for Dexy to make a mistake. But hey, Dexy, as we all know, Destroyer is one of the greatest reactors in Champions of the Realm. Yeah, this dude is a, he's a freaking uh, fabricator from Helldivers 2. You gotta stop him immediately. All right, so go with the EX projectile, but incredible blocks right now from six. This is literally down to the wire. Oh my God, there's smoke mix-ups. How did he even know where he is on the screen? This I guy's crazy. Takes up so much time. I think Dexy takes this because of the my, time. Oh my goodness, that throw was key to win off the timer destroyer. It, it took like 62 seconds to get that throw out. Yo, look at this! Look at the screen right now. You see the two Heineken men? Oh yeah, they're having a good time. In the no, look at the one with the beer bottle, and then the one behind the guy recording with the camera. They're literally two of the same guys. <laughs> what? I think I see a third one back. I think I see a fourth one back. Wait, how many times did they use that one NPC in this stage? Oh, There's like seven Heineken men in here. Madam Bull must be up to something. Really good combo. It's a 3-3-3 on the money. And they're just backing off here. I've always noticed, man, whenever Dexy Dog's on the screen, the dude loves to play the timer. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of timeouts here tonight. Six, the wiki ain't here. Beautiful stuff. Throws out this round so long as he doesn't drop. Wait a second. This, this actually might not be good. Okay, never mind. He goes up the throw. All right, six staying alive. I think it's pretty cool the way the uh, jump in meta changed in this game, man. You know, at first people were going for a lot of up blocks, and now it just kind of, it's kind of a big mind game when somebody jumps in on you. You got to make the read whether they're going to empty jump, whether they're going to commit to the jump. It's just a lot to look out for. My lord, when does this combo end? Nice throw. Bro, this is just game. This is just game number one still. It is. What the hell? A lot of three L's, but they feel like freaking first uh, first of fives. Okay, and here's the invis now for six. This could be huge. He's got the invis. Maybe he tries to go for a, a mix up here. It's the invis again, oh and he God. finds an opening. Dexy has to break her. Oh, the up block Wait, from Dexy. Wow, invisible. How did he even do that? Wow, How did he even do that? Come on. While the invisible, he got invisible the up block. And you're making reads? Nah, Dexy Dog's a different breed, bro. What are you what are you doing here? This man caught the up block on that low overhead string that the smoke players Come love on. to go for. Craziness. I mean, that was a really valiant effort from Six trying to bring that game back to life for him. But Dexy Dog shutting it down with the most godlike read I've ever seen. That was disgusting. Yeah, something stinks really bad after that read. Oh, my fault. I mean, yeah, no, after that match, yeah. What do you mean, my fault? Would you drop a big no, one? No, no, nothing. I, uh, you, no, I agree. Would with you the drop match. a hot ones? No, you. No, I agree with you. The uh, the match, the the match. So you're yeah. telling me you got a hot ones? 
No, yeah, no, I agree with you. The match is, yeah, it's smelling. Chad, when's the last time you had a hot ones? Has anyone else challenged you for the throne? Not yet, but they will. Chad, you ever did the hot ones challenge? Now destroyer decks got up 1 0. Wait, a different Molina skin? No. Nah, this isn't Dexy. What's going on? Who did you invite? Mate, actually, if I think it hell, this might be the other Dexy you invited. <laughs> Check the key of the hill real quick, bro. Is this, is this not the, the decoy, the imposter? This is the other Dexy. This is the other Dexy in the lobby right now. This is the other Dexy, a dog. Man. Up there to get the opening. I, I feel like with smoke, to be so comfortable, invisible, you have to have a lot of hours with this character. Six literally knows exactly where he's on the screen at every single moment when he's invisible, and I don't even know how he's doing it. That's the thing, like I've tried. This this was the character I wanted to be my main going into Mortal Kombat 1. But you were too stupid to pick it up. But I'm too much of a stupid idiot. Because Smoke and Noob Saibot are like number one and two. My favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't get the hang of him, unfortunately. He's such an advanced character. Please call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Good throw. Yes. Cool. Puts him in the corner. Dexy Dog just backing away. You know, I feel like once Dexy Dog sees the timer at like oh. 10 seconds, the dude is like, let me just 40, run away. 40, 40, 40, 40. Oh my god. Get the fatal blow. Oh my god. <gasps> He's got Breaker. Oh, the Breaker from Dexy. And the timer. we zooming immediately. You see, that could have been a situation if the timer froze. He would have had just a little more time to play with to, to have some decision making there. Right. My God, Dexy Dog going to open him up again. Looking to go two games to zero here. Drops a combo, though. Oh, 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 oh. Is switching sides, catching the low. Dexy's looking for the up walk again. Jesus, good sweep. He's gonna get the confirm into the Serena. Tony Serenos. This really is gonna hurt. He's spending all the cameo for this one, Caboose. Yowza. In Dexy's position, want to get out as much damage as possible whenever you open your opponent up, considering his game plan has been running that timer. But this is now where Six can try and shut that game plan down. Oh, went for the Wait, double what? teleport. Stop Dexy, the king of reaction. I, I think that was a read. He was invisible. The, the read there was either he committed to that overhead or he cancels and goes into the other side with the low. That's a 50-50 on that. And Dexy Dog anti-air Oh my God. That breaker literally saving Dexy Dog right now. 20 seconds on the timer. What's it gonna be? Tony Serenos. Oh, the low size will connect. Dexy's now up 2-0 in the set. This is a really scary position to be in, Destroyer. We are in the loser side of the bracket right now. If you lose, that's it. You are out for season two of Champions of the Realms. But they don't have to be too worried about it because we got season three starting up oh, real yeah, oh, quick. Yeah. This isn't going to be the last season by any means. I'm just saying that it would be unfortunate for the competitors that this is the last chance for our finale of season two. He's gonna be sticking with the smoke. All right, getting a cameo switch this time. Let's see if Kano's gonna be able to offer him just a little more uh, safety. Oh, maybe, maybe. Because, I mean, Chameleon is really good, but she is essentially a situational cameo, right? You have to constantly be kind of going with the flow with Chameleon. I feel like that's the best way to put it. You want to go with the flow, know which uh, cameo you're on at every given time, and kind of just make it work to your favor. But now I something like you, Kano is going to offer him a little more leverage, I feel, in the stability I, department. I wonder, well, does the yeah. smoke benefit in any way from using the Katana cameo off of Chameleon? Of course, because one thing of that's course. Really important, does, does he? Okay. Because I didn't see a whole lot of usage from Six with Katana specifically. So well, I, wonder if I, I feel Katana in general, you can literally throw out the stupidest stuff in the game and get out of there with the fan lift. lift. That's right. So, like, maybe in Smoke's uh, occasion, he could probably go for that full screen overhead, you know, and then get out of there with, with Katana. Yeah. And now he's got, like, Kano knives, and he's got Kano Ball to back him up with that. Oh, I don't know if he wanted that laser. 
That was not a good trade. Sagger's alone. These guys are playing Still some crazy footsies here. What was that? Still think he's on chameleon cameo? Probably. Okay, here we go. Has a chance to try and close out this round. Or at least gain a major life lead. Okay, and there we go. Sick. Secures the first round. He could have. He needs this right now. He could have gotten a bigger combo off of that confirm, right? Yeah, he could have been able to probably close out the round just then and there. So maybe he just wanted to save all the meter he possibly can going into this potential final yeah, game. Good throw. Six right now. Playing it extremely clean. He's got a little life lead here. Oh my god. That ball roll was terrifying. Oh my goodness. Okay, why they gotta pin that in your chat? What's happening right now? You know what? ZRVZ? I'm gonna get Oma Navarro to your apartment. You better watch yourself. What'd you just call him? Huh? Zephyr. Zephyr. SRV Zephyr. No, I'm gonna call him ZRVZ. I'm gonna call him SRVZ. No, VCR. I'm gonna call him VCR. Oh no, it's gonna be a match point for Dexy Dog here. And he's got corner control. Six just has to do the most brain dead thing ever and back it up with Kano right now. <laughs> oh, and no. there it is. Oh no. There it is. Oh man, okay. Six popping off here now, Destroyer. Oh, he's going crazy. He's not he's not done yet. This dude's ready to pop in a red baron pizza in the oven and call it a day. He's gonna pop in a Red Baron pizza and oven, extra sausage, extra frozen. No, not like this, Caboose. Not like this. He's gonna confirm into the Fatal Blow. What is this, 50% damage? This might be 50 percentile. This is going to hurt. This is over 50%. My goodness. Oh my god, close it out! There it is! VLE6 stays alive! Gonna put one on the board here. Showing signs of life. Unbelievable stuff. I swear I can't get over that the hoods for these skins, it looks like there's a cat under that mask. It's a cat man. Am I the only one that sees that? It looks like they got Hello Kitty behind the mask. I'm the only right. one. I think you're right. You think I'm right? Yeah. What if you took off the mask and it turns out to be Brendan Fraser's The Whales? Uh, you know, I'm actively hoping that happens. Has anyone else challenged you for the throne? Not yet, but they will. There we go. So he's trying to get six started here, but Dexy Dog interrupts. Nah, you know what they should have did, bro, with John Cena? They should have gave him a uh, activate camouflage, and then you literally can't see him. <laughs> oh, really tough spot here, Destroyer. Dexy just dominating. Seriously. Hey, wait a minute. Team Dolph. Do not count out six just yet. He's getting real tricky. Oh, Where is he? Oh my god, Where he got hit he? by it. Oh! What's happening? Big. Big. Dexy yeah, Dog's gonna have to hold all this damage. No way he converts into fatal. Oh! Oh my goodness. He needs an opening. Oh, he gets caught oh. by the ball roll. Oh. Man, the patience from Dexy Dog Destroyer. It's scary, man. You know what I realized too with smoke players? There's certain combo enders they can do that turns them invisible where you don't even know which side of the screen they're on. The throw. Gonna get the blocks on the Tony Serenos. Man, Dexy Dog just looking so oppressive right now. VLE6 not having a chance to even get in on him. There it is, the cancel. Trying to get the smoke shenanigans started here. The neutral duck. Just gonna back away a little more. What's it gonna be, Six? 
Oh my god, he's got to be careful committing to that string. One up lock, and that could be the GG's of the century. Oh my god, the ball row. Got yeah, enough to set up out of proportion here. Wait a second, though. The breaker. This is Six's chance. 20 seconds, though. 24. Tin way too down to the wire. Six doesn't have any Kano to give him a YOLO uh, get in. Okay, there it is, though. You gotta have neutral. Go through the overhead into the invis. He's gotta open oh, him up, Caboose. He Ooh, had an opening. That? What is happening right now? I have no idea. Six seconds, though. Oh, no, He's gotta commit. He's gotta commit. He's gotta commit. Is. Oh, the smoke oh. took too long. Very unfortunate. Six is going to be eliminated from this week's competition from season two. And that will be that Dexy stays alive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a nice fatality right there. Wow. She just ate this dude for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is very violent. Man, but take a look at this replay here, Caboose. What I'm trying to figure out is would that throw if he had just a second left to complete the throw would it have been enough to give him the life lead and take the round off of the timer that's a good question i have no idea he it seemed like when he went invis there he connected that low look at the little oh, no man. yeah no maybe actually maybe maybe Either not that or just a low poke or something i have no yeah. idea very unfortunate end to the set but dexy dog stays alive eliminating VLE6 and we'll move on now Destroyer. Later on we're going to see him face off against Almighty Red Nose. That's going to be insane but our next match up this has got to be among the most anticipated for the night. We got Tweety facing off against Han Rashid. I could be saying that and if somebody was just joining the stream they'd be like oh damn it's grand finals time. Like no, this is seriously. going to be huge. I mean, I'm ready for it, man. And that's going to be putting Dexy Dog advancing to face off against Red Nose in the in the losers quarterfinal. Yikes! Yeah, and very unfortunate stuff, man. VLE6 is going to be getting eliminated here, but yo, incredible stuff. You know, he got into the top eight for the last qualifier, which is not an easy feat. I hope we see these players come back for season three to just bring what's, some uh, more carnage. What's Han Rashid's PSN? I'm not too sure. I think I've, I can it, find I it though. It. You got it? Got it, yeah. Yo, shout outs to anybody who's in the Discord that connects their PlayStation account to their Discord so that all I got to do is click on your profile to see your PSN. Yo, this is it, Caboose. Right. I think we're going to get a nice uh, showcasing of, of Peacemaker. You think we're getting Peacemaker? I think Tweety's pulling out Peacemaker. I saw him make a tweet. You know, he was really ecstatic. He made top eight, and he kind of mentioned that he was using mainly Peacemaker. And now that he had... Look, there's a lot you when can learn in the day. He made it with the Baraka. Did he? He was When it came to Winner's Finals, I remember Tweety rocked, I think, Peacemaker for the first game and then wasn't messing around anymore and went straight back to Baraka. But hey, let's see. Selected up Peacemaker right oh, now. Man. He's oh, going for man. it. Here He's we going go. for we it. We got Big Daddy peace. Peacemaker pulling up. For peace. He's an E peace, mother effer. I'll crush you. Here we go, down. Destroyer. Fat this is it. I, I, again, I'm so bummed out that this is a loser's match. I so do not want to see either of these competitors get eliminated. I don't either. Oh, 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 wait a second. He's going Peacemaker Lao? This is interesting because right now the hot stuff is Peacemaker, uh, Peacemaker Kano, Peacemaker Striker. I haven't been seeing much Peacemaker allow, but hey, who knows? Sweetie might open our eyes up to this. Already getting those low hats set up. I want to see if he has like BNBs with this. Yo, Caboose, we might have to start playing Peacemaker allow after what we see here. Let's see. Let's see if Sweetie's uh, got the tag. I mean, the tech is probably just low hat <laughs> anti gravity. <laughs> to be fair, like, part of it might be too that, like, it's not even about the damage when you're rocking loud, right? Oh. It's just about the, the pressure and the setups. Because when we when we want to rock Striker, oh, we want to rock, it. like, Kano. No. That gun got was pretty weak, though, but it's still going to be able to close Eagly. out the round. Yeah, if you get that forward 4 1 2, you got to go for Eagly. He had the down forward 4 Eagly, right? That's right. What I'm noticing too, man, and I, I feel like a lot of Peacemaker players can relate. Sometimes when you're getting pressured, 
it, it's a little tricky to get out of certain uh certain frame traps you know because yeah. peacemaker as incredible of a character he is he doesn't have the craziest range when it comes to his normals, right? He has over four. It's really good, yep. but it is what? A, a, a 17, 19 frame startup? It's got some weight to it. What startup on his forward four? It's slow. It's slow. This should hurt. Gonna get the Sonic Boom conversion. Now, what's also really good about this matchup oh! is here. Beautiful stuff there from Tweety. It's that um, the reflection or the, the the armor that he can apply, especially playing against Han Rashid's rifle. Force field. Rifle cannot get the force field. There we go. Um, rifle cannot get any of that full screen zoning going at all. And yeah, I mean, I'm seeing the chat say it, and I gotta agree. I really, I find it very interesting, and I like the play here from Tweety with Peacemaker kind of utilizing him as a bit of a zoner, just waiting for your opening. Wait to land that 2-2 two, two into grab, wait to land that forward four, get those setups in with Lau. Han Rashid now going to make the switch over to Johnny Cage. All right, what's really scary that I saw him do at the end there, Tweety with Peacemaker, he did low hat, held it, and he did anti-gravity, but he held up on anti-gravity to get the, the fall and jump in. And yes. that is a dirty oh, setup, Kaboom. Yeah, that that is dirty. Oh there it is again. Yeah. Look, you see what I'm saying? And he was forced yep. to block that. Good awareness from Hammer Rashid, though, ducking under the 2 2 grab. He's gonna hit him with a nut punch, got him in the corner. I pretty much exclusively off of the uh, anti gravity just go for 2 2 4 because, like, I'm so scared of going for a yellow 2 2 grab, man. Wait, what do you mean? Like just going for a 2 2 grab on when your opponent's blocking, like you're, I'm so worried they're gonna hit that neutral so I can punish. So, what do you do? I just go for 2 2 4. 2 2. Oh, yeah, the overhead. You know, you can flawless block that drop kick and, and still yes. punish it. So, yeah, you, you gotta be careful with that habit. You gotta be careful in general with this character. Oh, here honest. we go. Look at this. Gets a conversion off of the loud hat. It's gonna be juicy damage. 360 on the money. Sets up another Ooh. low hat. He got the flawless block, but no up block. That was a little risky, actually, from Tweety. He didn't have a ton of range on his low hat, so going for the anti gravity made it so that it almost could have been punished. Han Rashid went for the up block in time. All right, 2 2 low hat is also a really good option, especially when your opponent's waiting for a 2 2 grab. The more I'm watching right. this uh, Peacemaker Lao gameplay, the more I want to try myself. Beautiful combo there from Han Rashid. It's looking rough here for Tweety. Just goes for the grab. Oh my god. You know, one, you grab one into fatal will be more than enough. Seriously. Gotta oh, play it super no. safe, but the freaking, what is that move called? The shadow kick from full screen. Yeah, that was disgusting. We tried to call in the cameo. Han Rashid was just ra waiting for any tiny little bit of movement. Catches the shadow kick to close it out with the brutality as he sits in his director's chair. Now, do you think that Tweety just doesn't mess around and goes straight to Baraka here? No, or you no. Think stick him with the Peacemaker. I think this is working out for him. Honestly, if if anything, he probably goes with a cameo switch, right? I would. I, I think so too. It was just. That's it was just one game. I mean, Tweety can definitely bounce back, but at the same time. Johnny's not an easy character to deal with, especially when no. you don't really got the frame data and everything kind of on lockdown. Like, having a character... This skin is disgusting. What is this? Yeah, what is this? Carrot Top's uh, brother? Uh, yeah, that skin just completely made me lose track of what the hell I was just talking about. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't even know anymore. Nicely done there from Han Rashid. Yo, he, he low key looked like, like um, he looked like a Oompa Loompa. Didn't the Oompa Loompas have green hair? Or was it orange? Cameo allowing Han Rashid to avoid any projectiles. There's a forward throw now for Tweety. Yeah, seriously, I think he is a Oompa Loompa. Oh no. I mean, life bars are even. Steven's here. That trade was so crucial. Oh my goodness. He was able to block. Just torpedo. <laughs> oh no. There's a fatal. He dashes through. Meaty was ready for it. I don't even know what to do.
what's happening right now. So it's many so staggers. Tight destroyer. A lot of blocking. He's trying to activate the eagle. What a pickup now from Queenie. The breaker from Honor. He breaks. And wait, the eagle. Wait, wait, wait. wait, where was the cameo for that breaker? Did you see that? There was no cameo on the screen. The game's literally breaking right now. Yo, you know oh, what else? Wow. You know what else is a little weird too? Seeing this team, you can't really go for YOLO um, torpedoes because you don't really have an ambush to back it up. Right. So every time I'm over here squeezing the the, the, the seat, I'm like, Yo, torpedo, well, torpedo. Could you go for Lao Hat or no? Yeah, you could, but it looks like he likes to set up the Lao Hat for that anti gravity yeah, setup. Yeah. We have a tough round here, Destroyer but has the fatal blow. And one thing is for sure is that this character does explosive damage. It's a fatal nice. blow. Oh! To the grab. Oh boy. We can close this out right here. Under the wire. Eagerly. Torpedo just do it. shot. Tries to go for Teleport. the throw. I think that got him killed. I can bet, I can almost guarantee you he did not mean to do that. That happens to me all the time with Lao Cameo. When you try to go with the back low half for some reason, if you got doodle -doo hands, He's gonna hit you with the teleport. <laughs> Don't get doo doo hands on. Nicely done. Uh, Lift to extend that throw combo destroyer. Beautiful stuff from Honris. He's just gonna connect the overhead up to Molina. It's a 2 1 2. Oh no. Damage and the corner pressure. But the back throw. Yeah, I don't know why he'd give up that corner position. Just went for the raw like anti gravity. And remember, chat, anti-gravity is hitting for about a throw's worth of damage. That thing does not joke around with the dammy. My god, He's just whipping! That two -two Dude, they're it's just crazy. whipping! For it. Two -two they're just grabbing the fatal will be more than enough. Oh! That was way too wild, my heart! Eagerly. Into the loud hat. Oh! Melina! Ooh. Oh my goodness! Goes for the combo and then it goes for a forward four. My goodness, Yuri is a maniac. I it's mean, he just he meted Han Rashid so perfect. If he would have threw that forward four any second sooner, I think he would have got punished with a down one or something. Yeah, seriously, because again, that four four, the startup on that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, and I'm sure you of, of anyone else knows, like, how many times did your forward four get stuffed? Try to meet people. Completely whip. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Just destroyed. Yeah. It whips, and then you eat a standing one punish, and uh, the rest is history. Yeah. Weedy right now, though, two games to one with the Peacemaker Lao. This is a very interesting setup here, and you love to see, especially all the way now into week eight, Destroyer, the final week before our finale, people rocking the newest addition to the roster. Oh, wow, Han Rashid expertly avoiding the Lao Hat to get that combo. Oh, man, I'm nervous. Oh, Torpedo! Torpedo. Bro. Answered by a wake up shadow kick. Uh, the damage, can we talk about it? The damage on Torpedo. <laughs> We it's, gotta talk it, about it. Feed on it more than anything is what's disgusting. Look at, look at his health. My goodness. Look at his health when he gets tagged by Torpedo. Now give him, give him another one. One forward four, one two in the corner can easily lead and net you with, without meter upwards of 40 to 45% damage. Oh, 100%. Damage. Well, wait, is he getting that with Lao? I think you get that without cameo. <laughs> oh, that's right, because it's just uh, darts and sonic booms and that, oh, that no, damage. Oh, no, he wanted the fatal. No punish, though, from Han Rashid. Literally dropping the round. Put the low hat. Oh, man, these guys are gaming. What oh my God, was he that? Just a straight shot just like that. I don't think he wanted straight shot. That kind of looked like a trick guard attempt, but straight shot came out. The zoning not sure. Queenie, who lands the eagerly. I can't watch. Oh, he gets shadow kicked from nearly full screen. Han Rashid is able to steal the round. Okay, do we know if uh, Johnny's parry can parry torpedo? Oh, good question. Uh, I know the fatal blow does. Oh, man. So maybe Han Rashid tried to make a crazy read there and parry torpedo. Stop there. Extending the life lead. 
See, that's where the problem lies, I feel, with a cameo like Loud. If he would have had um Striker, those torpedoes would have been backed up with nades. What a whip punish from Han oh, Rashid. Gonna close it out and send us to our first game five for tonight. Yeah, bring it. Which, like I said, this could easily be seen as a grand finals match. It's such a bummer that it is a loser's round one match. But here we go into game five. I have an inkling that will at the very least see a cameo switch. And I agree with you that yes, the striker cameo could be pretty key considering how safe he allows you to be and let you do some more YOLO stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, switching. Okay, going over just right to Baraka. Yep. I can't say I disagree with this, honestly. In a game five situation with so much on the line, with this being the last opportunity for these competitors to make it into our finale, I totally understand where Tweedy is coming from, making the switch to Baraka. And this also kind of puts Han Rashid in a very interesting position. He hasn't been able to have like any experience or any opportunity to face off against this Baraka in this set so far. So he might get caught off guard by a couple of things. I mean, already playing the matchup really well. Going for the down two to avoid the striker punish. Shadow kick. Oh, man. Han Rashid playing this excellent but a crazy off block punish from Tweedy. Going to get things started here. That's some good damage for Baraka. This is the same jump, jump in. Oh. Unrashid has been so good too at just those very Ooh. quick reactions with the Shadow Kick. Beautiful pickup combo from Tweedy to secure the round. Now he's on match point. And again, that striker cameo, always such a good pairing with characters like Baraka, because it allows you to do some things that are pretty risky and just keeps them safe. Oh no! He gets punished, but again. Striker cameo to the rescue. Tweedy going for a full back three string. Very risky stuff. Pretty interesting that, you know, he mains Baraka with the striker cameo, but didn't play with the uh, Peacemaker. He's That's got true. He's got a really good understanding of that cameo, right? Yeah, maybe just something about it from what he labbed that he saw too loud to be the better fit. By the throw now, oh, what striker saves him. Bro, during the throw? <laughs> that is wild. This might I actually do it. I think this is GG's. That is the Yo. game. Tweedy will move on, eliminating on Rashid. And now he advances to face off against Online Kale. I got to say, as sad as I am that Han Rashid has been eliminated, I'm excited because Tweedy might still be Rocket Peacemaker throughout the tournament. <laughs> Uh, Spanky Doodle showed the wrong replay accidentally. Oh man, the stupid idiot strikes again. I mean, somebody's got to do something about that, man. ASAP. Yeah, like you said, though, I'm really excited Tweety moves on. Again, valiant effort from Han Rashid, but any opportunity to get some more Peacemaker on the screen, I am all for it. I'm down. I'm down. No doubt. You know, okay, watching so these competitors in the lower side get eliminated like this for the final week, it's brutal, man. For sure, for sure. Okay, are we continue? I think we continue with the lower bracket here into Red Nose and Dexy Dog. Then we got Kale and Tweedy, and then we'll go Winners Finals, right? I think that's how we've been doing it. Yeah, let's rock it like that. All right, so Red Nose and Dexy Dog up next. This should be an interesting one, Destroyer. Dexy, of course, with that Molina, been so tough to beat, so good at reacting, and as well, that is a name we have seen ex just very often for champions of the realms did, correct me if i'm wrong did he make it into the finale for season one who dexy i don't think so dexy has always oh. been like literally right right, right there in, like yeah. literally right there but he just he hasn't been closing it out unfortunately but it looks like hey he has an opportunity to do it this week you know dexy dog going up against red nose Man, this whole bracket is just filled with killers. <laughs> I filthy. mean, any it's way filthy. you look at it right now, nobody's safe, right? I, yeah. I don't know who's going to take this tournament, but usually winner's final is like, it's kind of like a, a close call, right? Whoever takes winner's final and get that grand final spot. It's not, it's not every time you see a bracket reset, but it can happen with a, a bracket this stacked, 100%. No doubt, no doubt. Here we go, Destroyer. Red Nose, of course, with the game. 
Dexy still rocking the Molina. I have only myself to blame. Let's see what goes down here. Interesting one. Really good game so far. Even though we've had three O's, we had uh, game fives. It's been super hype action regardless. Uses the Cyrax to get the Sento started. Oh, this is good stuff too because I feel like Red knows he, he kind of already got a taste of what he wants to do against Melina, right? He was going up against Hourglass of Rain and now going up against a player like Dexy Dog. I think he's come to the conclusion that Cyrax might be the way. So you're calling me a stupid idiot? Exclamation point! I see it in the chat already. I didn't have to do it. Good defense. Wow, use the Sereno cameo to knock him out of there. Very nice. But he's going to find himself in a Sento sandwich situation. Gets opened up with the low into a fatal blow conversion. Oh, Rendos wants to come back here. He's going to get him off the breaker. Rendos trying to recharge that fatal blow, but the Tony Sereno from full screen. I'm not feeling too well. You think you can call Mr. Stark for me? You said you, said you got Thanos snap? I'm getting down. I'm literally disintegrating right now. You, so can you call Mr. Stark for me, please? I'll see you later. Have a good one. This Sento pressure is out of pocket. It's disgusting. I mean, did the... Did the central meter used to always do that? I need footage of, of central before the pass. Yeah. Because it's like every string he does, the central meter is kind of like stuttering. And then Loki. Wow, that actually connected. Dexy was just outside of getting that third bar of meter. Great awareness there from Red Nose to just go straight into the Fatal Blow. It's not going to be enough to kill, unfortunately, though. So he needs to do something now to try and close it out. Go for the full screen. Oh, oh no! The Torino cameo! And Dexy Dog is up 1-0 now in the set. If Kenshi had some type of way to get some armor with that knife toss, Red Nose might have been in business. But really good usage of the Tony Serino taking game number one here in the loser side quarterfinal. Wow, Zers. You can say that again. Wowzers, 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 you don't impress me. 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 Oh, who let Koto Khan in the office? What's going on here? What's he doing, man? What's he been up to these days? Ah, you know, just laying in a ditch ever since all the uh, stuff that happened in Mortal Kombat 11. Yo, he hasn't been the same. That's a very unfortunate man. Did, did, I didn't see. Did he stick with the uh, Cyrax or did he switch off of it? Oh, no, sticking with the Cyrax. Man, how is he getting opened up by that little uh, Serena kick thing? The chat is saying that I need some Vex milk. You get a new shipment in in the last week or so or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be in your front door. Give it about a week. All right. Sento sandwich time. Oh, man. Just hold those overhead. Three charges for Sento. Bro, pay attention to Sento's meter. I'm looking. I'm pay looking. Pay attention to Sento's meter. So it doesn't do that when he doesn't hit. Why is it? You see how it's delaying? It's yeah, hard? even while he's getting beat up, bro. He's like... They nerfed him, but uh, buffed him at the same time, I think. Maybe it's always been like that. I don't know. Okay, Dex has got the breaker. He's going to opt to use it. Yeah. 
Man, one of I, I, that, one of those NPC civilians in the background are about to catch a casualty, bro. I hope not. A lot of swords and blades being tossed right in front of them. He's got to be extra careful here. It goes for the overhead wow. and they connect. I mean, really good uh, thought process from Red Nose. He was trying to get some type of Cento plus frames to allow him to get in. But Dexy Dog just really clutch. I feel like that might have been one instance where the nerf did kind of affect Kenshi. He took some hits there that allowed that overhead to be enough to finish. For real. I mean, it's the little things like that that truly do matter in these fighting games. Here goes a crazy pickup here. Drops it, though. Open right back up. It's probably going to lead to a recharge on Sento. No. It's actually not good right now for Red Nose Destroyer. It's not. Oh, the man. Fatal. Dexy Dog's passion now. I'm surprised he didn't go to recharge Sento. Was he not paying attention to the meter? Probably wasn't. This is going to hurt. 50% off of that Fatal Blow conversion. My God. And Dexy still got Breaker 2, which puts Red Nose in a very, very tough position now. Red Nose does have the Fatal Blow. You're going to have to try and get rid of at least a bar of meter off of Dexy Dog before he even makes an attempt to go for it, though. And okay, there we go. Gets oh an opening. So Actually committing it. to that string, stopping the ball roll in the process. That was nuts. Gets the overhead. So what, why is he not getting the nice combo over the overhead? Look how much chip he's avoiding! Oh, the tech on the throw! This is ridiculous! Ugh. Oh my goodness! Red Nose closing it out. That was crazy stuff. I feel like Red Nose was yes. missing. Bro, it was a crazy sequence, but Red Nose actually was mistiming the central pressure because a lot of it was looking a little off. Good Dude, throw. Dexy Dog is insane. The flawless block to avoid the chip damage to wait for an opening my goodness what you gotta do sometimes to stay alive against these type of chip heavy characters he's gonna hit him with the tony serenos converts into a full combo here this is gonna be about 40 percent for nothing into the pressure oh my god when does it stop right now trying to fight back here Goes for the net twice in a row. Right. I low-key feel like Red Nose is getting desperate. And this is what Dexy Dog wants. He he really plays that timer to a point where it makes you uncomfortable as a player. You start hanging yourself, essentially. I mean, that's why we call him as well the Reaction King. is because he kind of forces you to do something that's very easily reactable for Dexy. Seriously. It's a pressure. No Did Sento. it get Sento? I feel like he could have gotten it going, but probably messed up the setup again. Okay, he's going to go for that throw immediately, whips out the Senso. He wants to get this chip out started. The overhead's going to connect. He gets the combo this time. Breaker. Oh, Santo sandwich. Oh, no, but Wait, Dexy's what? interrupting. Seven seconds left on the clock. Red Nose has a chance here. Gets the low. Oh, my it's God. It's fatal. Oh, my God. With four and seconds left. With four seconds left and Caboose. For some reason, I thought Dexy was on 2 but that's actually game number two here. Going yeah. to Red Nose. And that's, that's the guy on the set now, Destroyer. My goodness. <laughs> even even at the uh, finish him screen, you can see, you can feel that Red Nose is a little rattled, man. He's, he's got some, some shaky hands because that one was an intense finish with just a few seconds left on the clock. I can't even imagine the nerves on these players considering as well it's our final week they're bringing it so when's the last time you dropped a hot one in the toilet oh i'm doing it right now i got the mic with me <laughs> oh my god this guy's out of control we're tied 1-1 here dexy dog versus red nose the winner of this is going to be advancing in this loser side bracket <laughs> Loser so is gonna be sent to McDonald's. This is huge. What a back and forth we're already witnessing in this set, Destroyer. Okay. And after this, what what does that leave us with? It's gonna be Tweety versus Online Kale, my yes. lord. Yo, what's gonna be wild about that too? I don't know how comfortable Tweety is in the Baraka mirror. 
Because that could be a possibility that we see in that match. I mean, I wonder as well, again, if he just starts off with that Peacemaker before making the switch to Barack. And I think that's what, we, that's what we want. The low is going to connect. Oh, Here we go. He's going to get the pickup into yeah, about 42% into Sento pressure chip out. GG, shake my hand. Yeah, Red Nose again, getting that rhythm going now. Exactly what he's hoping for, what he wants. Oh, no confirm? Oops. He's trying to call out the staggers for Dexy Dog, but it's just not happening. Dexy Dog with some masterful stagger play here. Mixing everything up. Gonna go for the throw. Red Nose is up the round. Doesn't really have to worry too much. I'm holding my breath patience. right now. I can't even talk. Yeah, a lot of patience. Sentinel's here. No, but th that flawless block is a lot of to avoid so much chip. As I say that, he gets opened up. 40% into some more pressure. Just keeping the, the he's keeping it nice and simple. What a down poke from you need to do there, Dexy. Dexy, as soon as you see an opening to just get one little low poke in, that's exactly what you need to shut down the Sento. How the hell do you even get that opening though? These players are insane. Defense from Red Nose is immaculate. He tries to, he tries to go for the Cyrax net. What's it gonna be? 10 seconds on the clock. Dexy with the life lead. Oh, the reaction no on the middle way. block. No, it gets interrupted. He needs to, he needs to go in. Two seconds left. No, Dexy's gonna take the round up the timeout. Man, the intensity is real, Destroyer. I mean, that was incredible decision making though from Red Nose. He decided to put the blade away. That way he can have access to another Sento Sandwich uh, possibility here going into this round. Well, no, when the round ends, don't you put the blade away anyway? No, Sento. Oh, do you? Yeah, I think off, uh, off the round end. Oh, he goes back to his regular stance? He goes back to your regular stance. You're not lying to me, are you? No, I don't, I don't think that. I don't think you stay in Sento stance. Around that. He wants to chip out. No flawless blocks from Dexy Dog. The, the, the late low gonna catch him. Oh, and then the overhead with Sento. He calls it back in. Beautiful stuff now from Red Nose. Able to continue this pressure, but that flawless block gets top of the overhead now. He dropped it! That low poke. Um, okay, Dexy again, landing the flawless block. Now's his chance. Dexy's got a turn here. So, people say that mix from Sento is not reactable, but Dexy Dog is making it look reactable, bro. Oh my god, look at the timer again, Caboose. Ten, we're down to 10 seconds again. Dexy Dog. One opening. One opening, One opening. it's a fatal blow. One opening into Fatal Blow is going to ruin Red Nose's Overhead. dream. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, again, Dexy steals it. Dexy's a maniac. He's a maniac. Shut the stream off. Shut the stream off. He just went for five overheads. And all Bro, what are we witnessing here? Dexy Dog with a straight robbery. This man caught him with seven gajillion overheads back to back and took the game before the timer went out. Jesus oh Christ. My goodness. He just went for overhead after overhead after overhead. To be honest, I realized too, that was way smarter than trying to get an opening into Fatal because Red Nose had that breaker at the ready. He did. He had that like a butter so trying to go for a fatal would have caused the breaker and would have put them at nearly full screen from each other which just wouldn't have been good news for dexy him opting to just go for the overhead and it working is ridiculous red nose i imagine is kicking himself after that one but let's see if he can bounce back as we now enter game four destroyer this is already shaping up to be one of the most hyped top eights that we've ever commentated for champions of the realms i mean you're not kidding Bro, I, look, all I'm going to say, Caboose, is 
you got the right recipe. This game is super hype. Remember the, uh, I think Wednesday. No, no, no. The the finale with um, Mari and um, Illy Silly. You know, there's a lot of characters that a lot of people say, oh, boring to watch. Oh, so, man, they just, all they do is this, that. Nah. You get the right players handling these characters, bro. This game is hype no matter who's on the screen. Damn right, man. Damn right. He's got Senso locked and loaded. He's gonna catch him with the pop-up conversion of a Century 364 into the Sento sandwich. One thing Red Nose is gonna have to clean up though, Caboose, is those overhead confirms. There's a lot of damage he's leaving out of the table, not catching that. And honestly, bro, right now, the way I'm seeing this match, 0.1% damage is gonna make a difference. No, seriously, every single hit counts. And there's the ball roll from Dexy Dog into the throw. Somebody in the chat wants to know who's Dexy. Well, you're going to find out right now. Just keep watching. Stupid idiot. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, he goes into the Cyrax. Straight into the Sento pressure. Beautiful combo wow. there from Almighty Red Nose. He gets a counter. I don't know. Something about this match tells me we're going to a game five. I got that weird feeling too, but let's see. We don't want a commentator's curse. I think we already did. So it blocks on the Tony Serenos. Oh no. The down poke immediately goes into the pressure. The Sento oh, no. is awakened. Wow, what? that little back dash into the... Oh my goodness, Dexy Dog is disgusting. It's like the decision making. It's it's stuff that you would never call out and Dexy just pulls it off and it works. There we go, no more Sento now. Red Nose though, still taking advantage. Getting good pressure in the corner, Sento or not. He's got one bar meter. He's got one bar meter. He's standing up, ducking and standing up, trying to, trying to OS either an overhead or a low. He can resummon Sento if he gets a touch here. And Cyrax is there locked is. and loaded. The breaker, though, shuts that down. Smart stuff from Dexy, but now another race against time. No, right? Destroyer. 15 seconds, we're already Oh, the ball. Oh, no! What? It's untied. You do not see Dexy what? drop combo. He, he really didn't get a fat combo off of that, though. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Red Nose didn't that think that punish was going to work. Fortunate. He's just backing off here. Oh, he went for wow. it. He went for it. And you're right. The prophecy fulfilled. Game five coming up next. Nah, yo, I want to see some hype in the chat right now. Let me see some whale emotes. <laughs> Caboose emotes. Non -stop exclamation point, stupid idiots. Right now. Let me see exclamation point, stupid idiots. I want to see it all in the chat, man. Final qualifier for Champions of the Realms. It can't be any more crazier than this. Yo, thank God I'm not on the camera right now because the amount of twerking I'm doing is crazy. Yo, you guys, he's not lying. I see his camera live on the Discord, and you, you, you guys are missing out. I'll just tell you that much. All right. Red Nose, Yo, I think, taking what, a beat. What if I go back on the camera him. and I'm doing the Omni-Man pose? <laughs> <laughs> and then I start saying, boring. You should do it. Hey, you want your Don't channel banned? Do I'll do it for you. Do it, just do it for the chat. Do it for the stream. All right, I'll do it for the stream. Do it for the people. Man, Red Nose taking, um, take your time at character select screen at, to the heart I, right I respect now. it though, man. <laughs> taking I mean, that to the heart. Be less this set has last. been insane so far, Destroyer. Boring! <laughs> oh, Red Nose. Starting things off huge in game five. This is a massive 40 plus percent combo. Dexy though gets an opening and he answers right back. It's a slugfest. 
Yeah, 336. He's got corner control. The throw! That was so ballsy from Almighty Red Nose. What was that? Dude just dashed up to his face and took a second to smell the fresh air of Kenshi's farts. Torino. Nice low poke from Dexy. He goes overhead. right into the overhead. That won him the round off the timeout just a few games ago. I'm surprised he didn't catch the punish on that whiffed throw. I'm running out. Full sticks of butter on both sides. The ball roll connects. That's GG's unless he drops it. Red Nose, not opting to go for the breakout. Oh man, he believes oh, Kaboom. He, the he believes Kaboom. Kaboom. He's gonna have Sento in front of his face with a, quite a bit of Sento meter left. Oh! Oh, and he lands oh another my God, that's full GG's. Oh, Oh, dude, I'm that telling you point. right now, bro. These guys are crazy. This man went with the three hitting Sento string just to give him enough time to dash up and hit him with a down three. That's full screen pressure, Sento pressure. Insanity. The only thing that's unfortunate about that is that leaves Red Nose without any meter at all and Dexy with all the meter in the world. Oh, Dexy gets opened up, though. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There's the Sento. Oh my god, this is not good for Dexy Dog. Sento is on the screen. Dexy Dog's gonna have to find an opening. Dexy is ridiculous oh. at interrupting Sento, man. Bro, he makes that Serena up hit look like it's unblockable. What a conversion! Straight back into Sento. He has Breaker. Yo, what about just taking a hit to Breaker? That's a maniac. That's a maniac thing I just said. Oh, yeah, this that one. Looking good yeah, into the point. throw. It's a meter burn throw. Sento reactivated the flawless block from Dexy. He gets top of the overhead though, and that'll spell the end. Wow. Red Nose makes it out alive and eliminates Dexy from the tournament. Okay, how crazy was my idea to let go of block and break? <laughs> Honestly, that that would have been interesting because it, it deactivates Sento for a sec and it pushes your opponent away. It's it's, it's essentially a push block. Yeah, except right. You let go of block to do it. Um, that, so I'm I mean, not a stupid idiot then. You're not a stupid idiot on that one, Destroyer. And I'll tell you who else isn't a stupid idiot. Red Nose will be moving on into the losers semis where he awaits the winner <laughs> between Online Kale and Tweety. That was an incredible play from both players, man. And uh, I hate to see a player like Dexy Dog get eliminated in this tournament, man, because the dude puts in a lot of effort in trying to get into these finales. Seriously. But to tell you the truth, bro, I hope we see him come back for Listen, season three. What Dexy did in that set, it is the most I have seen anybody counter somebody <clears throat> while they still have Sento out. Like I do not, you do not see a whole lot of people doing anything but holding block when their opponent has Sento at the ready. But Dexy had always found those small little cracks, those small little gaps in order to find a hit, in order to find an opening and shut down that Sento pressure. It unfortunately wasn't enough by the end of it. Red Nose advances, Destroyer. What a top eight so far, man. Crazy stuff. Now we are going into a match that I'm super excited for. Uh, Tweety versus Online Kale. You know, Online Kale, the young prodigy. Big shout out to Online Tony supporting his son and all his awesome endeavors. Yes. Uh, yes. This is going to be an interesting one because we've seen Tweety whip out the Baraka a couple times now. Uh, every time he kind of feels like the Peacemaker is just not cutting it, he'll pull out the, the Baraka. But yes. if there's one player in this bracket caboose that's going to know the in and outs of Baraka, I think it's going to be Online Kale. Kale. Yep. Which is why maybe in this instance it might be advantageous to instead rock the Peacemaker, and that's what Tweety is doing. Peacemaker Lao. By the way, man, quick shout out to this Baraka skin, one of the sickest cosmetics in the game. Did Baraka get a crazy outfit for this season? Because if he didn't, I'm gonna be pissed. If any character should have gotten a green mohawk, it should have been Baraka. Look at this combo here now. Give him a green ponytail. Set up from Tweety. Beautiful oh, stuff. Man. Oh, man. Oh, he really wasn't at the ready. Yo, speaking of Eagly, has anybody realized of the Eagly cooldown bug? When you call a cameo, Eagly doesn't have a cooldown. Did anybody realize that? Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Like, say you do Kano knives, you can call up to like three Eaglies back to back. 
There's a bug. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional, but if you're calling out Eagly during cameo, it removes his cooldown, bro. I fucked it. It's pretty, pretty juicy. Very dully. Look, let's see, and maybe even will suck it. Tweety going for these YOLO wake up torpedoes. Getting punished for it. He tried to go for it again, destroyer, and got stuck on the armor. Tail with the corner pressure. I mean, call that an eye for an eye, right? Tweety kind of popped off the first round online kill right back at you. He said, I'm not the only one eating these tonight. You continue to pop off here. A healthy 36% into the standing four pressure. Again, what is definitely good here if you're Tweety is that if anybody is gonna know what to do against Baraka, he'd be the guy who's been maining him. Wait, they won. Cease says the mid Eagly already doesn't have a cooldown if they block it. What? So wait, as long as they're blocking Eagly, you can just keep calling it? I'm, I don't think that's how it works. I need to go to the lab. Can we end this? Can I go to the lab real quick? Oh! Into the grab, into Fatal, and that's the game. Hey, yo, put the backup cam. I'm going to jump in the lab and, and uh, test some stuff. <laughs> Beautiful stuff from Tweety taking game number one with the Peacemaker, hitting him for a fat Fatal Blow combo here. You're going to go to the backup cam, and it's just going to be me playing Combat League with Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I already oh, left man. the King of the Hill, man. Did, I, did you actually? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some you games in. Stupid idiot liar. Hey. You told me they you had it. the king of the hill to see if I was doing <laughs> You had me going for a second. Listen, well, how fun this character is, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Oh, so you don't blame me if I leave? I don't. As a matter of fact, I'll okay. give you a one-year supply of Uncrustables if you leave right now. I'm out of here right now. What do you mean? All right, bye. I love her taking my life. All right, goodbye then. Listen, if I get Omar Navarro on your case, though... Uh, don't come crying to me. To Why does Baraka's hand look so normal? He's like this monster creature. The dude has a pedicure going on. The dude just came back from the spa. Uh, what is it, a manicure? He got the he got the pedicure. He is in the he got zero symptoms in the background calling you a stupid idiot. Hey, Baraka, Baraka's a freaking animal. It's a pedicure. For him. I'm not wrong. It's a pedicure for Baraka. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you stupid. Oh, oh. that's oh. <laughs> Grab! Yo, he did the empty anti-gravity. Oh no, that fatal blow. No. Meter destroyer. What happened there? Did the striker mess up the combo? Wait. Reacting with the fatal oh. kill! Yo, another player that is a reaction god, online Kale. Do you know how difficult it is to react to Kung Lao Loha and catch a punish, Caboose? That thing recovers fast. Young prodigies, man. Their brains moving at supersonic speed. <laughs> I'm thinking of that scene in the Matrix with the computer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it's probably like. <laughs> Their brains. <laughs> Wow. Now, online kill betting a lot on those standing four uh, pressures to blow up the armor, but is that standing four sequence fast enough to destroy Torpedo? Oh, that's a bad drop! But the delay wake up on online kill is gonna make him miss the punish! Uh, oh, Tweety didn't get the jump off that Sonic Boom! Bro, he's dropping a lot right now. This could potentially cost him. He ends up oh picking up he goes what? for another eagle though. What? what are you thinking? Oh my god. Just two, two, He's still alive. Torpedo. Just torpedo. torpedo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Torpedo! Oh my god. Torpedo! Oh my god. Torpedo again! Oh my god! Oh he's trying to get just torpedo! You just need a torpedo! <laughs> oh no! And Kale with the fatality the disrespect! Oh my god! Just torpedo, man. A torpedo! This torpedo. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I mean, oh my I god, can't yo, blame look him, at John, one time look at John Cena like, in this scene. Look at John Cena in this scene. This is brutal. I don't want to see John Cena like that. 
in that one final instance that maybe Ken wouldn't jump in. Maybe he was going to go for another projectile full screen. He wanted the side switch. But even then, man, it's so risky going for anti-gravity when you're on the magic pixel because if you're going to go for the jump in, you can get up block. You also have like a second of recovery when you land. So if you're just going to sit there and hold block, you then give up your turn. I feel like the way to go in that instance was just torpedo it out. Just time the torpedo to land. Fortunately, he wasn't able to. Kale takes the game. We're all tied up in the set. Man, what an amazing back and forth we're already witnessing here, Destroyer. Listen, all I know is that I just witnessed John Cena get eaten alive by a bunch of Tarkanians. <laughs> oh, beautiful stuff there. Landing the Lao Hat and converting into the full four. What's crazy too, Caboose, is that last game, I think if he would have caught the, the, the um, Sonic Boom conversion, I think he could have closed it out. I mean, yeah, if you start for like two troops, torpedo standing for the Sonic Boom torpedo, there's oh. a lot of out there. These pickups are brutal right now. Sweetie, winking right back up, dishing out some peace. Damn, right about that. There's the Eagle Eagle. Oh, that put you into restand. Over the throw, the striker keeps him safe. Kale now landing that down forward too. Striker interrupting the combo though in that instance. Pressure here for Very nice. Torpedo. Now that's what can be good is when your opponent trying to go for that block pressure. Sometimes you can just armor straight through. That's what you do to me when I try to hit you with the block pressure. Just armor torpedo straight through. I, I mean, bro. Like a battering ram. Especially if you have Kano or Striker to back it up because. You're, you're either going to do torpedo into Kano Ball or with Striker, torpedo into names. And unless you got a specific punish to deal with that, you're kind of locked down there, Caboose. Kano Blow territory. Oh my goodness. Again, he reacts to the Kuma. Wow, this kid's a this problem. This kid is a maniac. This kid's a problem. Talk about police brutality here. Baraka pulling up. <laughs> oh no. Closing it out. Not the craziest damage on the Fatal Blow, but just enough to secure the round. Just, uh, just an easy raw Fatal Blow, full screen almost. Gets the forward three to connect now, Destroyer. Oh, Kale's going crazy. I don't want to assume the worst, but say Kale takes this one. Do you We're think we see... Rock. You think so? 100%. Oh, that back three. Breaking up the Tweety. Okay, Get one more. Yo, just one, he just needs one combo to bring this right back to um to even Stevens. Oh yeah, absolutely. Bro, put him in the fatal territory. I don't, wait, don't, wait, don't, wait, don't, wait, don't, I don't know, what? but I think that GG spend the meter. No, there it is. Kale now up two to one. Again, I definitely think that Tweety switches over to Baraka, unless he doesn't like the the Baraka mirror matchup. Nah, I, I don't think I don't think Tweety's here. that type of player. I, I, Tweety is definitely the type of player that doesn't shy away from the mirror. So if he switches to the Baraka, I think it's happening. We just have to see if he's not feeling this uh, the John Cena right now. That's the thing. Is it the moment of truth? Let's see what happens. Yeah. There it is. This is this is what we've been seeing Tweety kind of do, even from when we were watching during the pool play. He'll rock the Peacemaker out the gate because it's such a new character. There might be some stuff that people are unfamiliar with. And then if things don't work out, if it's not shaping out the way that he wants it to, you know, no more funny business. Let's get serious. Make the switch over to Baraka. So we got the Baraka mirror underway. Online kill. One game away from eliminating an NRS veteran. Like Tweety? Man, online we gotta give kill. It up for these young prodigies, man. We really do. Online kill looking super clean right now. The double down one from Tweety to try to escape this prison that he's being put in. The throw. This is just pretty much gonna come down to who has the most knowledge of their own character. Nice back four three punish there off the projectile. One fail the up block oh, kill. Man. Match point. He tried to back that up with the nade, but I think he might have missed time. Did allowing online kill to get that up block punish. Very unfortunate. Then down two. Get away from me. This is match point right now for online kill. He's putting everything on the line here. Real careful. You gotta respect that he does not want to get opened up. 
What he needs right now is to get rid of those three bars of meter that kills got oh, no. and loaded. Oh, the back three connects. Destroyer, this is a very bad position for Team TV. But okay, gonna land the back four three. He's got Striker to try and keep him safe, but it whips. Go for the throw. Striker again. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Nice tech on the throw, he needed that. Oh, but he's getting a whip punish by Striker to the rescue. Oh my goodness, Tweety finds an opening. No way. He's gotta go for the fatal. He breaker? got breaker. breaker, he got breaker. Oh, oh, Tweety. Wait, what? He's able to get past the Striker cameo of the square. Get the throw. No, no way he does this. Oh my god. Oh, and the back three online. Kale eliminates Tweety from the tournament. Oh my goodness, the baton has been passed to a new Baraka. My goodness, online Kale, stay alive. I'm at a loss for words here. I mean, that was literally the only a true master comeback in the works. And online Kale gonna shut it down to take it over Tweety two games to one. Wowzers. Wowzers. This final qualifier top eight so far has been brutal i mean dude look at these final moments here caboose look at these final moments he caught the block and that's what i'm saying remember i was telling you if you know the specific punish to avoid striker nades you can go for it and tweety knew exactly what to go for he did the standing 2-1 into the baraka rush got him out of the nades pressure but unfortunately a down one to steal the frame advantage and the back three to close it out online kale Oh my. Bro, this is a crazy week. This is a crazy week. Tweety. My goodness. Tweety's popping up in the chat. Is he actually? <laughs> Tweety is, uh, Tweety is not happy about that. Oh man, yo, you saw what he said. Oh man, he called him. Ow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, Tweety called him. Ow, oh, wait boy. a second. Now, we're going to have to have these guys run the first to 10 live on stream after was, this. Was Kale teabagging? Did I miss that? I knew he, he did fatality. I think he did like a like, like a little teabag. It looked more like a victory dance, more so than a disrespectful teabag. But listen, you can't be teabagging players when, when they lose because it's... I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. Okay. Well, Destroyer, now we get into our winner's finals. And, I mean, I say this every single week. I say this all the time. You're a stupid idiot. More than ever, more than ever, this is key, man, to be on the winner's side of the grand finals in our final week. It is as comfortable of a position as you could possibly ask for. And it goes down in just a few moments between Shuleta and our glass of rain. We just need online kale. I see you in the chat. I know you're active. I need you to leave the king of the hill nah, for bro, us. Listen, please. online kale's about to turn on his mic and start going crazy in this <laughs> king of the hill. Get him out of here before we get the whole stream oh canceled, my please. please. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Little Dominican man's here now. But yo, this is it. Winner's final. Like like I said previously, I always feel like you can kind of call who's the winner of these tournaments once they take that winner's final set. Then at that point, it's just like. You kind of root for the underdog, right? It's a miracle run at that point. But both of these players are super strong. Hourglass or Rain, probably the best Molina in the in the business right now. We got Shuleta, an incredible Raiden Kano player, complete scumbag. I mean, one of these players are going to be taking that grand final winner spot. And whoever does it is going to be sitting real pretty. Real pretty, Caboose. go the competitors are locked and loaded ready to go it's storm cell versus yolo ball roll who is gonna take this one who gets that winner's side grand final spot for our final week my goodness destroyer look I at them say, they're, listen, they're already they're already just taking their time at the, the character selection listen i say both of these guys just do a peacemaker miracle of the day by the way um, I want to say thank you so much to everybody tuning into the stream tonight. You guys are incredible. Big shout outs to the sponsor of our tournament, Odin Sama, sponsoring each and every week with a custom prize pool for the winner. Exclamation point Odin in the chat so y'all can check that out. And also big shout outs to all the contributors for the uh, match arena, man. We got so much money for this finale. It is insane. Yeah. 
Chuleta versus Hourglass of Rain. Here we go. Also, by the way, Kale did try to clarify in the chat that he wasn't teabagging. And he did show some respect and say that he would never teabag a good variety. So I hope I hope the beef is squad. He's a, he's a young prodigy. Even if he was teabagging, man, he's young. You know, he's let him I have think, his fun. I think we should set him up to have an IRL fight at the next major. <laughs> okay, chill, chill. <laughs> what do you mean, chill? I want to see I'm, that. I'm getting you off the phone. All right, right, relax. Right. No, security is in trouble. Guys, get off of me! You're holding me too tight, man. Hey! What happened? You're not gonna chill. I'm telling you to chill. This is what's gonna happen, Chad. All right, I want you to remember that. I want you to remember that for next time when you guys get out of hand. I want you to remember what just happened to Destroyer, okay? You never forget it. But you're next. All right? Hourglass of rain up around here, still flawless in the second round. The overhead is backing up. Hourglass waiting for his opening. Playing it very methodically here. Charges the ball roll. Oh, gets caught right out of the air. That was beautiful stuff from Chuleta. All right, what I missed, man. They, they really hurt me. You know what they did to me, Caboose? They took a, a, a super hot Red Baron beats out of the oven and they put it on top of my toes. <laughs> I'm in pain. Oh, man. I'm in pain. Hey, old night. Maybe that would have been nice. Maybe they were just trying to heat up your toes. Yeah, you're right. See, here we go. Good conversion. Brass Pack, That's aka game. Hourglass of Rain, going to take the game here with a crazy combo. Really good start for Hourglass of Rain here. Going up one game to zero against Chuleta Chuleta. Toto Teta. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> he left. What's that? Wait, did I get kicked out? Oh no, he no. left. Why did okay. Leave? I don't know, but that's, that's, game, that's game number one for Shuleta. We're not giving him two. There's not two O. Oh, Shuleta says on my screen he got hit. I'll make the king of the hill. Okay, okay. Shuleta wants to host because I guess there was some lag in the king of the hill. Well, look, first of all, Shuleta, I don't know who you think you are calling the shot like that. As a matter of fact, we're going to let Hourglass of Rain host. Now, imagine. It doesn't even say that Shuleta invited me. It just says another player invited you to play Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> he invited us? I got the invite. It's taking forever to load, though. All right, there we go. Yeah, look, on my screen, everything looked completely normal. So I don't know if he's playing on a 60-inch TV. Or Yo, what? tell the players to wait up because it's taking me a second to join. I'm not even in there yet. I'm not even in there yet. All right, all right. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, it just says you left. I was playing wireless. Imagine. All right, perfect. All right, just for that, we're going to put, um, it's going to be 2-0 two, two for uh, Hourglass of Rain. Perfect. That sounds good. What do you think about that? I was thinking, actually, let me just change the name uh, in the winner's finals to Caboose, and Great. then I'll just advance myself to grand finals, and then I'll just end the tournament. I mean, hey, look, man, with that peacemaker you got cooking up, you might be able to do some damage. <laughs> Dude, I you, can, no way. You might be able to do some damage. What do you mean, no way, man? You downplaying yourself. You know what? Security, give him the same treatment you guys gave hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Mother should have give him the same you treatment you guys gave I'm, me. Would have guys, challenged I'm paying Empress. you guys. That's right. That's right. Round one. Fight. Don't ever send my own security guy. You understand? All right, my bad. But this guy wanted to host his own King of the Hill so he could do Down Force to himself. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Am I lying? Nah, you, you got a good point. Okay. Oh, the back two connects. You know, I always find it so weird when that overhead connects on your big jump because it like sucks you back to the ground. <laughs> it really does. Oh, nice to burning the thunderfly to get the armor through on the lot pad setup. 
Oh, that's in a really tough spot here. Can he make the only a real master comeback? No. That was smart too, man. One thing that pisses me off about Raiden is, uh, Raiden Kano specifically, this dude gets away with murder when he down ones you. It's like down one, is the storm cell coming? Is it not? And then he can get away with like three down ones. Down one on block for Raiden is like basically plus. I'm not even trolling. Yeah, for real. And a lot of Storm Cell on the screen here. Plus frames into the double down one on block. You'd love to see it. Oh my god, using the low hat to keep that safe. The breaker. It's crazy how we had two. What was that? Nothing, nothing. What I was, was gonna say it's crazy how we have two incredibly strong Melina players in the top eight bracket, and both of them main a different cameo, right? We got Dexy Dogs with the Serena, and then yeah. Ratsmack with the Lao, and they really showcase these cameos to be incredibly powerful with Melina. Good pickup here from Chuleta. I remember a time when uh, people thought that Serena was going to be like the most broken in the game. Turns out that she was just very like entry level. No! Robot. No! This hourglass! No! With a fatal! 0.10 HP? Does this kill? I, I think it does. Oh, yeah, it, no, it definitely yeah. does. What a godlike comeback here. Nah, hold up. What I just read in the chat, Raiden is bad because he got no mix. Okay. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> now I'm pissed. This character's a literal potato head. Bro, did you just see the blocks in the background fly up yeah, in the air and land perfectly on top that of each so other? Cool. That caught my eye too. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Nah, this game is Looney Tunes right now. Oh no. Chuleta. Chuleta. Good blocks on everything there. Oh, I saw a little lag spike. What was that? Check the pings, Caboose. Check the pingas. Everybody's locked in. Well, you're you're like a hundred something. So the players are at ninety. Oh my God! What's it gonna be? The jump in charges. Whoa! I saw that. For a second, I thought my KFC eight froze. I got scared. Did you let that? You sure you want to host? I mean, yeah, this dude hosted and this game is breaking now. Wow, zero, zero on the timer. Hourglass of Rain going up two games to zero here. With a lot of lag spikes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try having Hourglass host? Maybe. I'm seeing both their pings like jumping from 90 to 110. So both like, of their pings? They're doing a little dance. Hourglass went up to like 130, I think, at one point. But right now, both of their pings I'm looking at. Is at like 110, 120 almost. Yeah, look, I don't know if you can see this. Your ping is high too. Your ping's like 150. Let me see. I don't know what's going on. That's not what I see on my screen, bro. Wait, what do you see? Chuleta has a. And all the pings are jumping up and down, which isn't the norm if everyone's wired. So, so okay. Chuleta and, and Hourglass looks around the same Yo, way. you're, you're like one you have high ping for me too but that's probably because of where we're located yeah i think it's just the king of the hill so yo can, do all right they're just gonna play it i was gonna say let's get a reset on this yeah i guess they're just playing i guess they're just gonna play it out respectable i mean hey probably a chance that if everyone's ping is high it's huge i'm not even the host of the king of the hill yeah we're not hosting
I mean, I heard Quan Chi's been farting inside of his portals recently, so there might be a little bit of clouding in the uh, the Ethernet cords. Yeah. Okay, down one storm cell. Oh, just a ball roll for him here, essentially. That's the round match point now for Hourglass of Rain. Stacking off. Hourglass of Rain knows he has a really good lead here. Can definitely find himself in Winterside Grand Finals. This could be the tournament for him to take, the one he's been looking for, Caboose. Go now. She let that come in. A bit of momentum going. A little low poke into Storm Cell. Oh, the up block attempt. That's going to be a huge punish now for Suleta. Yeah, cashing out. Big boy damage. Straight into Storm Cell. More Storm Cell. Give him a little bit of more Storm Cell. Storm cell. Give him another Storm Overhead. Cell. Give him a Storm Cell. Guaranteed chip out. Okay, Chuleta answering back. Can't keep this up though. He needs to secure this game if he wants to stay alive in this tournament. There's that low once again. I saw in the chat, um, he needs to do more down one for himself. And honestly, he's paying off. Hey, okay, it's Storm Cell City. But again, Hourglass with those key flawless blocks to avoid the chip. There's the back throw now. Chuleta into the corner. Hourglass does have the full stick of butter. Breaker at the ready. Chuleta's gonna side switch. Oh, the projectile shuts down the teleport attempt twice. If he would have thrown overhead. Thunderfly right there, I would have lost my mind. And that overhead has been doing a lot of damage to Spur. We're not lying about that. Wait a second. Good block on the low side. Hourglass of Rain, the Ooh. overhead actually restood him. The standing one, two, did not catch him yet. That might be enough. This I hits hard. So. This hits hard. Yeah. yeah. These last hits, yeah, that'll help me. No, wait, wait. I'm actually second guessing it now. No, yeah, he's, he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. There we go. Shuleta gets a game on the board. It's not going to be a quick and easy 3 0 for Hourglass of Rain as Hourglass has shut off his like switch to allow for a healthy split <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> nah, you crazy for that. Oh, my fault. That was he told you? He told you personally? Oh, oh, I didn't. He, he told me not to say that. Jesus. Yeah, my bad, Hourglass. <laughs> Way to spill the beans on him. All right, let's see if uh, Shuleta can bounce back here. What was that? You're accusing me of spilling beans on him? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna toss him like a salad. Bro, my hands are steady. I would never spill beans. Yeah, right. Don't ever again in your life accuse me of spilling beans on somebody. What if I told you the next time you go to the beach, I'm gonna make sure to throw sand all over all your food. Yeah? And all your beach towels. And you know what I'm gonna throw right back? I'm gonna throw beans. Beans. Just for you, it's gonna be Tinto Beans. Oh man, the empty jumping. Good throw. Somebody in the chat said you mean Sento Beans. <laughs> I'm gonna get some Sento Beans from the store. Sento Beans? Is that uh, Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. His name is Sento Bean. Yeah. Hey, okay, hard knockdown. Good grab tech. Chuleta right now, though. Oh, that could have been a punish. Around Hourglass again now. On that match point. Let me see right now. One in the chat if you want Raiden to lose. Two in the chat if you want Raiden to win. 
Three in the chat. If Three in the chat if you're gonna go to the beach with Sento beans. <laughs> Plus frames, overhead connects. Yo, Ninja Killer called you a stupid idiot in the chat. Are you serious? He said, yo, destroyer, you're such a big stupid nah, idiot. Nah, 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 nah. Did he really just hit me with that? He said that. He said it. Nah, yo, chill, Ninja Killer, chill, bro. Very nice. Yo, yo, relax, relax, man. I'm a human. Why you guys treat me like I'm some type of wild animal? Oh, what, you want me to go get a pedicure? Just <laughs> Oh, the low head actually connects. Left that can try and tie up these rounds and connect the overhead wow. to do so. He is staying alive. This could be a potential game five situation. Oh, the ball roll will oh. connect. Ball roll on the pole. Roll. What is happening? These guys are both playing with doodle -doo hands. No doubt about oh, it. Man. This is Reese's Buttercup doodle -doo hand gaming right here. Brought to you by Shuleta and Hourglass Gaming. What a good throw. Oh my god. Oh, he just pushed the buttons and stuffed whatever Shuleta had going for him. Keeps it safe with the with the uh low hat. Oh, Charging up that Kino cameo, we might have been able to get a huge punish off that ball roll. <laughs> Yo, can I ask you a serious question about this stage? Why are they fighting outside of the arena? <laughs> you know, get no, and you know, as you're wondering, that destroyer hourglass is able to close it out, taking that set. And oh, hourglass no. now is the one to secure that grand finals winner's side. This man's been dishing out the fatality on everybody. He is dying to get this stream demonetized. He loves to see it. <laughs> really good stuff from Hourglass Arendo, taking it three games to one over Shuleta. Wow. I mean, the final moments of that set, Shuleta could have made something happen, man. I never count out Raiden in any situation. You know, the amount of storm cells this character can dish out, the amount of chip out he can dish out, they can definitely turn the tides of battle in the blink of an eye. But Hourglass or Rain securing the dub, and that's going to be landing him a juicy spot in the winner's side grand finals, Caboose. Damn right about that, Destroyer. Hourglass of Rain in a very good position now. Should let that sense to the position. losers' finals. What's that? Uh, this is an insane position for him. I mean, like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big voucher and preacher to say that... Uh, Whoever gets that winner side grand final spot is definitely at an advantage, right? You have that three game cushion to kind of just feel out your opponent or just, you know, test the waters a bit. If you want to play a little bit of uh, sure. Peacemaker and throw out 100,000 torpedoes, you can do it. You got three games to spare. But I we'll definitely, yeah, I definitely don't think Hourglass Arena is going to be that dude to uh, test anything, though. Yep. All right, well, now we get into our loser's semifinals destroyer between Red Nose and Online Kale. Kale coming off a big win against NRS veteran Tweety. Red Nose, though, has also been so dominant with that Kenshi. So we're going to have to wait and see what goes down in this set. The Young Prodigy versus the Kenshi Destroyer. Who's going to take oh, this? Who oh, oh, will oh. make it into the loser's finals to face off against Shuleta? This is what's going to... I mean, honestly, the rest of this top eight, it is anybody's to take. Hourglass, of course, with the advantageous position in winner's side grand finals. Shuleta, though, also still a very tough Raiden to beat. Oh, yeah. And definitely can get that run back and maybe even take it tonight. But online Kale, that Baraka is disgusting. And then Red Nose. I mean, Kenshi, what else can you say that hasn't been said already? The competitors are in here. They're ready to go. We're about to get into this match. I want to see some hype in the chat. Let's get hype. Let's get hype. Drop those emotes. Let's see the hype. Champions of the Realms. Restoring balance into the realms. This is it. We got ourselves the loser semifinals. Almighty Red Nose versus Online Kale. We've been seeing a lot of Kenshi going up against Baraka here. I'm hyped. Ooh, and, oh, look at the cameo. Man. Okay, no, right back to the Cyrax. I thought we were going to see some Sub Zero cameo action for a second. It's insane. Better to be blind than to see a tar cotton. That's a horrible saying, Baraka. <laughs> that dialogue was funny. Here we go. Look at this 
back corner pressure already starting things off here for Online Kale. Those back three, they'll take it. The Baraka, the Baraka Barrage, if you will. The Baraka Kaka. You love to see it. The standing 2-1 catches him from hella deep. There it is. Okay, strike grenades, the safety net, more strike grenades. You just gotta block low, man. I mean, that, that back three is one of the most disgusting lows in the game. And just as, you, just as you say that. Man! Sento pressure is relentless. Online Kale having a real hard time dealing with this. And there it is, another overhead to seal the deal. Red Pretty much his only way out of this destroyer is you just have to apply enough pressure to not allow Red Nose the opportunity to get that Sento out. Three and the Striker cameo is out of range. Oh, oh man. That's the ready Sento sandwich already activated to destroyer. It's not looking good for online kale. It really isn't. That little crossover setup that Red Note just did to him was wild and oh, good awareness. No. There it is. He went for the down two because he knew the strike grenades were going to uh, be backing him up. And that gave him just enough damage to close it out. Red Nose taking game number one here in the loser semis. Man, that is a hard image to see uh, Baraka just laying there like that. It's like the dude just performed a Harakiri or something. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> he just laid out. Why, why his own head look mad at his body? Hey, <laughs> he's pissed. <laughs> he's he's looking at his own body like, how did you get us killed? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he turned into the dude in that one stage. You stupid idiots. What are you doing, buddies? <laughs> He channeled his inner, uh, whatever that stage is called, NPC. I don't think I know a single name for the stage, the stages in this game, except for the flesh pits. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And then, may okay, maybe the Wuxi Academy. I know that one. Are you sure it's Wuxi Academy? I think that's from Mortal Kombat 11. The Wuxi Academy. No, it's it's in this game. I don't think, is there a Wuxi Academy in uh, MK11? There was a Wuxi Academy in MK11. Oh, I don't remember. Oh no, wait! I'm, you know what? I forget. It. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm sorry. Okay, good crossover. A lot of zoning here. He has. Oh, did you guys know they're coming out with a, a tea house after hours stage? And I don't want to spill too much information, but they said they're going to put Matt on a pole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good throw. Going to throw him out of the corner. I mean, for Baraka, it doesn't even matter. You've got to be relentless with that pressure to not allow your opponent the opportunity to get any of their momentum going and to get that Sento out. Beautiful up block on the jump in attempt. That's the round for online kale. A little more of that, and we can see a very different set here to Oh. 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 Stay. Oh, and he actually caught a punish off of that. My yeah. God. And you got to be really careful trying to go for a punish when your opponent does something unsafe while they got that striker locked and loaded. Well, it just go, it goes back to what, it goes back to what I was saying before, you know, like once you're fighting against somebody that has those striker nades timing down pack, it's freaking hard to escape the pressure. Nicely done here from Kale, wanting to slow down the pace so slightly so that that time can run down. Taking a piece out of the, uh, the Dexy Dog book. Wait. Uh-oh, that goes out. Nice little poke to interrupt. Oh. Try to up block. Oh, and the Sento Sandwich is active, Destroyer. Kale does have the breaker, though. There was going to be a fatal blow attempt. 
Got to oh use this again. Maybe even get hit oh. intentionally. There we go. What is happening right now? He got wow. killed off of the breaker, oh but the cross of jump three gonna take it. That's gonna be tying things up one to one with the brutality. My God, when does this end? I, I think that he followed the advice that you were trying to give. I, I think it was the Dexy Dog. Just intentionally get hit when you got breaker to shut down the center, to put it on cooldown. I mean, it's a smart move, man. And then if you look at it, like once you actually break her, Sento goes on cooldown for a good second. He he ends up getting disabled for, I would say, what? Anywhere from three to five seconds. Gives you enough time to just get your bearings back. Really good stuff I mean, from and, online kill. Like that, when the life bar, they're so close. When you're just a hit away from taking the game, you definitely want to use a resource like that. Intentionally yeah. get hit so you can hit the breaker. Put that center on cooldown for a sec, and then, like you said, find your footing, get a hit in, and online Kale is able to tie the setup one to one. Yo, I see somebody in the chat giving praise to Fallen Sweat. Listen, my no boy, shot. my boy, why don't you go on a date with him? The only person who would be giving praise to Fallen Sweat in the chat would be one of Fallen Sweat's hideings. Yeah, I think Grafted King 147 is definitely Fallen Sweat in the chat somebody ban him please imagine do you see that tree in the background you want to know what it's doing to say fallen sweat had courage and he signed up for the tournament under three different accounts it's out of pocket come on bro. there are better quan g players out there Man, already getting the Sento, uh, the Sento pressure started here. He's stuck in the corner, and there it is. Chip out. GG's. Tries to go for the jump in, but a nasty up block striker needs to keep it safe. Online Kale. 342 off of that. Goes for the overhead. Oh my god, into the back three. When does it stop? More pressure. Good blocks, though, from Red Nose here. Trying to stay alive. That's where I have a confession. Let me guess, you're falling sweat. I see everybody coming out the, out the closet right now and calling themselves falling sweat. Jesus. Sorry. I'm just gonna help myself. I'm help Well, the real Fallen Sweat, please stand up. We're gonna have a problem here. You, you, you say that and like 80 people stand up. <laughs> the standing four. More standing fours. He's just mashing that standing four. That is one funny string right there from Baraka. The breaker coming in clutch. Good duck on the projectile. He's gonna go with the Cyrax net, which is plus on block. Gives you enough time to set something up here. Oh, incredible. Using the striker to get the punish, capitalizing on it. Healthy 34% combo destroyer. Oh, he shut down the striker just in time. That could have been bad. Oh, Into a vital gun. Hold on. I mean, I wouldn't say it's worth it, but man, he still has a lot of work to do here. Yeah, I mean, he definitely needed to pop it at this point. You need as much damage as you can get, and that is a 40%. Oh my goodness, the no. striker cameo with the handcuff. No. Lock him up. Lock him up. This is extra tough for Almighty Red Nose as well because he needs to get him off of the breaker first if he wants to do a killing combo here. Or maybe he can just ship him out. Oh my the god. Breaker. There goes the breaker. Watch out for that sword toss. Oh, he just goes to the back for three. Man, ah. online kill. All right, Baraka, we get it. You're strong. We get it. Holding an entire half torso with one arm like that? You got it. You got it. Looks like we're going to be going into a potential final game here. Online Kale sitting two games to one against Red Nose. Is Red Nose going to go with a cameo switch, a character switch? I wonder what's going through his mind right now, but man. Online Kale popping off here with the Baraka Kaka. Gonna put it 
Waka Flocka. There you go. Scary position to be in if you're Almighty Red Nose. Kale up 2-1, one game away from eliminating him, Destroyer. Again, this being that final week, it, it's such a it's such a ladder, a mountain to, to climb coming back into another season. Cause then you you gotta hope you win that first week. And if not, it's it's time to grind for the next seven. And then once you do make it in, you're waiting still. You gotta sit comfortably and wait until we get through all those weeks of competition leading up to our finale. So this is an opportunity that everybody that's left in this top eight, I imagine, is dying for. Our prize pool is upwards of three thousand one hundred dollars. Let me get an exclamation point, Macarino, in the chat. Let's see where we're at so far. By the way, if you want to donate to that prize pool, you want to add to it. Which, by the way, it looks like some people did skeptic with another five hundred dollars. Oh my God! Our prize pool now nearing no. four thousand dollars, destroyer. Oh, we gotta get it to four K. Skeptic, thank you so much, brother. For real, the contributions you put for Cams of the Realms is unbelievable and it's if I ever get the opportunity man. to take you out to dinner, I will. No, seriously, if we ever run into you with a combo breaker or an Evo or uh, something, dude. man, you gotta hit us up because we owe you drinks, we owe you lunch, we owe you a kiss, I mean, um, we owe you like <laughs> yo, what? dinner. Huh? Yo, what? what? Hey, yo, wait a second, what? What, I, what did I say? I'm not gonna repeat it because now I he, didn't say anything. What? He said gonna, we own like a dinner. No, what's gonna happen is the next major you go to, he's gonna pull up that exact recording and he's gonna <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say, So caboose, I'm skeptical about that deal you offered me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even him. Oh no, that'd be crazy. <laughs> So, uh, I was watching the stream and I heard something about a, a kiss. What are you, what? Oh, and I was, I'll be like, oh yeah, do you like that, Ben? <laughs> you like those guys, huh? Yo, I'm dead. Good down too. Oh, nicely done. The empty jump into the back row for the extra damage. Red Nose is going for the up block destroyer. Kale is on oh. that point. The avoidance of the Sentinel was kind of wild. The decision making from Kale is insane. And he actually punished him a little bit for that uh, Sento callback. Oh, no, Kale now with the life disadvantage destroyer. Him backing up. Oh, the full fatal. Kale is not. That's GG's. Get me out of here. That's this GG's kid, right there. This kid is reacting on cameos with fatal blow full screen like it's nothing. All right, now the Cyrax one isn't too impressive, but that was still no, a good it's decision. Really impressive. Nah, not this. It, reacting to Cyrax is not. Nuts. That's it. Get, give, him, give him a replay from the last match, Spanky Doodle. That's right. I know. The, the That's Cyrax what we want. That is the, like the slowest cameo in the game, no doubt. But still, man, online Kale has been ridiculous. He's so consistent, Destroyer. And he moves on now to the losers' finals. By the way, I saw Shuleta asking in the chat if you want to host, by all means, man, you can send the invites out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, look at that. That, 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 that reaction really was quick. fat. That was, he had a big window there to make something happen, and he definitely seized the opportunity. I mean, look, if the kid is reacting to uh, Lao Hat Fatal Blow reactions, which to me is godlike, then that that's, Cyrax that's reaction tough, there yeah. was, was baby food for him. GG's, man. What are we up to our oh. last two matches tonight? My God, we're running through this right. tournament. That's right. Losers finals time between online Kale and Shuleta. This will be a big one, Destroyer. This is going to be massive. That is going to be Who's crazy. Gonna Who's gonna it's going to be crazy. On. Shuleta versus Online Kill. Yo, honestly, bro, I'm more excited than ever for Season 3 now, though, because now that we know Quan Chi is actually viable and Peacemaker is probably the best character in the game, I just want to see what Season 3 is going to look like when the time comes for us to get to yeah. that, that finale, you know? Yeah, I mean, hey... We're definitely going to keep bringing you guys the hype for as long as possible with Mortal Kombat 1. And we appreciate every single week you guys tuning in, showing support to my channel, to Destroyer's channel, showing support to our match arenas, our prize pools. I mean, collectively across MK11, MKX, Injustice 2, MK1, 
we must have had like a collective like close to fifty thousand dollars in prize. Oh pool wait, that um, we've been that we've been giving away. Hold to on, people, I, I, I could I could see I could give you like a rough estimate of how much we had. Yeah. Oh really? Second. You can get like the like a close to the total? Yeah, because what Maturino does, bro. We just to give you a little heads up. I I, I don't know if I tell you about it, but every month or every year. We make it into the the top 100 um, Maturino partners for oh, that's the amount of money we've raised for these events. That's amazing. And they messaged me not too long ago for this year. Yo, to, you should uh, let that send another invite because us. they didn't kick me out of the King of the Hill. Oh, I need hey, to continue. What were we saying? Uh, oh, I just got to find this real quick. I don't even know where the it's, hell it it's is. It's crazy. I mean, Wild Destroyer looks that up. Like You said we need another invite? Yeah, I need another invite because they wouldn't kick me out of the King of the Hill to join his. They're saying I got a request to join his. What? Yeah, you might. He might have to send oh. another invite entirely. Yeah, I just got a new one. Okay, I got one. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been insane. The, the amount of prize pool money that we've had across all of our tournaments and in general, the level of competition that we've seen and some of the names that have popped up and are now kind of household names to the NRS scene from Champions of the Realms. It's awesome. It's awesome. We really genuinely from the bottom of our heart appreciate the constant support that you guys show for this tournament. And we're just going to keep bringing the hype, man. We're going it, to, it's not stopping with season two. The Destroyer apparently wants to compete and is not going to go AFK oh, in the the Hill lobby right now. He wants to show off his Peacemaker combo. Let me pull out the Peacemaker real quick. Um, but yeah, it, it's not stopping with season two. We're going to keep going strong. And then when King of the Hill crossplay gets introduced, again, as long as everything's working, as long as it's all running smooth, then things we're really going to start to open the floodgates for you guys on that. All right? All right. Okay. All right. As I say that, the competitors pick the flesh bits. Yo, 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 yo. Can we get a reset? Can we get a reset? No flesh bits. No flesh bits. No, no flesh picks. Oh, just let it rock. These guys are hard locked in. They're locked in. I mean, listen. I just hope you let that wasn't listening and was just watching, you know, because I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Let them run it. Let them run it. They just run right into that. What can we? What do you want me to do about it? I want you to ban them both from competition. I mean, technically we could. This, they're breaking the rules. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> technically oh, we could. Hell. Really strong from this round, destroyer. Oh. A real master? Only a real master. Oh god. I'm just not gonna Don't. So for the jump in, you got Flesh Pits Joe Biden losing his mind. I'm just not gonna say anything. Oh my god. Oh! Wait. You got a breaker, right? Baraka Barrage goes for the jump in. Oh, oh my god, he my the knee. That could have been so messed yeah. up there. Okay, Most so for, for 2023, Kaboos, we raised a total. Are you ready for this number? Tell me. For 2023 alone, we raised a total of thirteen thousand nine hundred ninety-two dollars. I know, I know, eight thousand of that was from season one. That's crazy. You want to know the lifetime funds we raised on Matchino? Yeah, tell me. Thirty-four thousand five hundred five dollars and sixty. Yeah, you know what? Sanity. Yeah, there's more money than I have. That's a big problem. Oh, oh. You're gonna have to start dropping the donations to my PayPal. Let me drop that in the chat real quick. Baraka Barrage, Striker Nate's keeping it safe, goes with the back three. Should we let that right now? Gonna charge up the projectiles. He almost made one of the craziest comebacks we've ever witnessed, Caboose. And he's, his head is still in the game here. Yeah, I mean, imagine what he's doing. <laughs> he's got the life lead. I don't like Kale, though, gonna enter back. Why? See ya. Warrior gonna close it out. The flower, sorry, the uh, the breaker. He tried to teleport out of there, but online kill shut him down. The losers' finals match starts off now. Online kill taking the first game. I don't know, man. It looks like every time Shu left that one, so Hosey loses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
I don't see a character switch from anybody here. Chuleta's kind of ride and die with the Raiden. Well, actually, no, on Wednesday, um, wasn't Chuleta playing different characters? And it had us kind of freaking out a bit. Because we almost see Chuleta exclusively yes. play Raiden. Yes. And we were saying, like, he's doing anything but picking the friggin' Raiden. Yeah, I'm gonna do anything in my power not to pick Raiden. Yo, people in the chat asking, there is no crossplay for King of the Hill yet, so we're not doing crossplay tournaments just yet. And even when they add crossplay to King of the Hill, we're gonna have to still do some extensive testing and see what the community consensus is before we move ahead with any crossplay tournament. So, but we're, we're, that's the the goal is to get there eventually. But we're gonna try and we want to do it right. One hundred percent. Because listen, it, it's enough um, single region, um, single platform. <laughs> so, yeah. just just imagine like. And also, I was talking to it about Caboose. When we do start doing crossplay tournaments, if it ever becomes a viable thing, we're going to have to get some volunteers on board to help us run these events. So I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, we definitely are going to need some more manpower to help us out with running the, uh, the rackets and everything. So hopefully we can find some people that want to be part of the uh, COTR I team. Mean, look at the disaster that was this past Wednesday. Not a good imagine goal. that time 10 with people entering on PC and Xbox. Yeah, no, I don't want to imagine that. Good forward three. Using the striker nades as a safety net. But there it is. That's going to be a big boy punish. Online kill. Might have miscalculated something there. He's going to be eating. Oh my god. Almost 40%. Goes with the, the jump in into the back too. Chuleta just put in a clinic on online kill. Wowzers. My goodness. He said, Oye, mira, my name is Chuleta. Chuleta, llame la policia, please. Pop Siete in the building, and just like that, he's gone with the wind. Chuleta tying this set up one to one. Destroyer, we got ourselves a set for our losers' finals. And all the same with, as I said earlier, when it was Tweety and Han Rashid, you could easily look at this match here and be like, man, this is, this is grand finals. Your friend is full of himself. Right now, though, if you're hourglass of, of rain, you gotta be watching close. You gotta be paying attention to what both these guys are doing. It's the final week. If you wanna make sure that you take as much advantage of that winner's side grand final position, then this is what you gotta be doing. studying both these competitors to be ready for either of them to be coming up to bat. Okay, um, real quick, I have to mention our glass of rain. Um, he is in the winter side grand finals, and from what I can tell, usually when this dude is in winter side grand finals, it's not often that he loses that. I'm just, I'm just, being, I'm just gonna be real with you. It's, it's a good spot to be in for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too comfortable though. There have been plenty of times before Destroyer we have witnessed insane comebacks from loser side grand finals that led to wins, that led to those some of those players who are now in our top eight finale, and there's the fake no. the bit of blow. No. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? The, the striker nades got him out of it. The striker nades the got, striker the nades got him out of it. What? The strike grenades got him out of it, bro. I needed to watch back to see what happened because I had no idea why that fatal blow didn't land. I thought it was a glitch. Maybe I caught the replay on that. Maybe, maybe. I, I mean, I just looked back at the screen because it's delayed from what I'm seeing in front of me. And that, I mean, that was, that's, that's insane. That's insane. How many times in the history of this game do you witness a fatal blow's armor be broken? After this round, we're gonna switch to a replay to Spanky Doodle Caught, and we'll see if he got anything good. Goodness. Online Tail with a get out of jail free card to take that first round, Destroyer. This is a storm cell. And the unfortunate thing is, too. Did that count as his fatal blow being used or no? 
Uh, is no, it, this is... didn't go in the animation, right? No, yeah. You you can tell uh, when the fatal blow is used, there's like a red... A blood splatter. Yeah. What are you, stupid idiot? <laughs> oh, my fault. Everybody go to the destroyer's shot if they can make more stupid idiots. <laughs> All right, at least somebody go copy and paste the command and start, uh... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Good grab tech. Oh my god, knocks him out of the air. True left out right now. Trying to bounce back from that scrambled eggs that was the last round. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. Indeed it will. Shuleta recovering after a crazy fatal blow. Getting stuck Let's see if we caught this. You got the replay? I want to see this. That was ridiculous. I did. It just has to reset. The replay happens at the very beginning. Watch. Pay attention, chat. So he goes for it. Oh, no, that... No, no, watch, watch, watch. It's going to reset and you'll see it. Okay, okay, okay. My God, how long are these right here? There it is. I barely caught it, but you guys saw it. The Shrike Grenades took him right out of that. I can't believe it. The Shrike Grenades broke through the armor of the Fatal Blow. That is the only time I have ever seen that happen. And man, that it's got to be unfortunate to be Yo. a Raiden in that instance because he is one of the only characters on the roster whose Fatal Blow is two hits before it fully activates. H have you ever seen a tie round in this game? A match extension type thing? No, a, a, tie, a tie round. round. No. no. Has that even happened? Yeah, I caught one yesterday on stream. It was a miracle. Oh, man. I remember we would get those, like, I wouldn't say often, but more we would get them enough to make note of when we cover MK11. Oh, yeah, for sure. Here comes a nasty pickup from Kuleta. He's going to be up two games to one here on online, Kale. Trying to get back into that grand final spot where he's gonna get the run back against our glass and rain. I got the hiccups. Shoot, Help me. Feel that opportunity and get his chance at that grand finals destroyer. Could we go to the game five? Online kill with the fatal blow. Chuleta does not have that third bar of meter that he might need to break her off a potential fatal blow. And there's a breaker from online kill trying Whoa. to survive this round. He just did raw down for it into Storm Cell Wait, and it caught no, the way that works. No, 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 no. The okay. reaction off the whip throw to go for the fatal. That's that pretty wild. It's not. It's not enough. But, but the Baron Striker from behind. What was he gonna say? Come? Bro, there, there was a lot of options he could have went for in that scenario. He could have just went with the Baraka rush into striker nades for uh probably the chip out there. It's scary. It's really scary against certain characters to have a pixel HD. It's like characters like Baraka and now Peacemaker included, you know, throw out torpedo, throw out the Baraka rush, just stuff like that. Back it out with a with an ambush cameo, and that's all she wrote. Oh, that was a bad drop! Chuleta, though, not being able to capitalize off of that. He's gonna hit the plus frames off of the Kano Ball. Goes for the overhead. The forward 2-2 two -two Storm Cello. Young Lack switch hello. No striker is hit. That's gonna put it on cooldown. Chuleta trying to take advantage, backing up here, and there's the Storm Cell to secure the round and put himself on match point. One round away from getting his run back against Hourglass of Rain. Really good coverage there from online kill. Goes with the projectile. Nice. The empty jump, jump in. Yeah, man, it's so tricky. I don't know what's going through these players' heads to go with empty jump in or commit to the jump in. It's just like oh, got the back three. crazy reads happening. That jump in connect. I like that. Oh, no. That's what is that standing for for Baraka is so many hits and can easily break through an armored wake up. 1,000%, especially if you're playing Raiden, who doesn't have the fastest uh, armor move. Standing core is going to be the best game. friend in this matchup. The pressure, there is no defensive meter. It's not going to matter, though. Online Kale gets us to another Game 5 Destroyer. This is exactly what I want, Kaboos. Game 5s for the final matches for tonight. And yo, is it me or does it look like Baraka's missing all his top teeth here? I think so.
My God. Get hype, Chad. Game five, Shuleta versus online Kale. The winner of this will be advancing to face off against Hourglass or Rain, who's sitting real pretty right now in Winterside Grand Finals. I saw Hourglass or Rain's been pretty active in the chat. Hourglass, if you're listening to us right now, let us know, who would you rather fight? Shuleta or Online Kale for this Grand Finals match you got coming up? And if you don't answer that, we're banning you from the, from the tournament. Oh, uh, Destroyer's a stupid idiot. Wow. Why would you say that? Oh, Why would you say that? You know, you guys are going to really drive me into a real deep dark depression with the amount of times you call me a stupid idiot. You know, one of these days, I'm going to hop on stream and I'm going to start farting and pissing everywhere. <laughs> You guys got worried for a second, huh? What you thought I was gonna say, huh? I don't know. All I know right now, though, is story is that he got quite the life lead. Just had to hit the breaker, though, and he's gonna get angry. Oh no! Into fatal blow. He's no gonna confirm into that. Kale that time. It's gonna be some juicy damage, probably to the upwards of 420. Blaze it. No, the scaling was pretty brutal there. I, well, never mind. 388 is a lot. Oh, oh, the oh my god! That was a crazy read from Shuleta. And there we go. Shuleta makes the comeback again on match point. Online Kale. It is do or die time. This is his last chance. Oh, he gets caught by the cami on screen. Overhead, he is getting so lucky with these Storm Cell um, whips, bro. Oh, no. oh wow. Kale cannot get opened up again, Destroyer. He has got to get a combo, and he's got to slow down this momentum. He needs to try and shut down Shuleta now. Chip damage over to the restand with the striker cameo. Oh, he's getting open up here. Kale. Shuleta's looking for an opening, but online kill. Staggering the pressure. Shuleta's looking at the timer. He knows exactly what he's doing. And this could spell the end of the game. Right. Uh, unless he, so he, he's got to hit a flawless block here. He's got to hit a flawless block. And he doesn't. Ooh. That will be that. Shuleta advances. Gets his chance now at the run back in Grand Final. Wowzers. An unfortunate end for Online Kale. Wow. Unfortunate, but again, man, at the valiant effort. In the chat destroyer. No, what happened? Did Tweety, Tweety just go? He started going ready. crazy? Tweety at the ready with the trash talk in the chat. What he man. said, he said, oh, would you get, you stupid idiot. You suck, you stupid idiot. Don't you ever play in Mortal Kombat 1 tournaments ever Tweety. again, you stupid idiot. Brother, I love you, man. But he tried to clarify that he wasn't trying to teabag. And he's a kid, bro. This guy's a young prodigy. You got to give, you got to give credit where credit is due, man. Oh, that's, that's really how you feel? Let, let's not let, okay. Let's not start arguing in the chat. I don't want it to that's be no. Also, that's how you no feel. Now, now nah, nah, that's it. I'm siding with tweeting. You siding with let's, online let, kill. Now out, we gotta fight. Out, now we gotta chill fight. Out, Me out. and you, we gotta fight now. Uh, no, no, nah, seriously. I don't want. I don't want no disrespect, <laughs> man. I don't want no disrespect. All right, like Tw Tweety is a young god. You know, he's one of the best of the best in Mortal Kombat. No, 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 no. Hold me Tweety. back. Hold me back. <laughs> And, and like online kale i mean for for this young and just popping in now for the first time we, we haven't seen much of him he did great man he did it was a good set you played your peacemaker which is a newer character for you that might have put you in a disadvantage uh, disadvantageous position and it unfortunately led to to you being eliminated but tweety we hope we see you back in season three man 
with that Baraka or maybe even with a more refined Peacemaker when you have some more time in the lab with the character. Guys, please chill, chill, chill. Let him fight, bro. Let him fight. Let him fight. This oh is Mortal Kombat right here. Let them, let them, let them kill each other, bro. This is These it. guys are going at it. <laughs> this is the final qualifier. We got the These grand finals about to go it. down. Hourglass of Rain versus Shuleta. Let's get it popping. The players are here. Listen, after this tournament, if you guys want to, we could run a first of 50 online kill versus Tweety. Yo, you got to set up the arena. I mean, hey. You got to set up the arena with the beef set, man. It's grand finals, Kabuz, you ready? This is it. Our final grand finals before the final. Well, listen, I do plan on getting season three started up pretty soon, so don't worry, guys. More action will be we're coming. Actually, right after this tournament's done, we're starting season three like an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that now. Oh, my fault, my fault. I, 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 I Man, this guy's hourglass of range name is so massive, it's almost getting out of the scoreboard. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me not put any spaces here. And as we've mentioned, Destroyer, you know, time and time again, considering Chuleta's on the loser side of the bracket, considering he's on the loser side of the grand final, he needs to win instead of three to then reset the bracket, and then another first to three to then make it into a finale. And Hourglass of Rain is not going to make that easy. Making that first round of this first game. Well, the last match they had, do you remember the score, Caboose? Was it a 3-0 for Hourglass? Uh, I think it was. Back, it was 3-1. Let that did get a game. Oh, okay. Like I mentioned previously, I really do feel like once Hourglass of Rain has that Grand Finals cushion, the dude enters God Mode because, seriously, can someone tell me a tournament he's lost where he was in Grand Finals? There's not a lot that I've seen. It definitely takes a special kind of competitor to be able to play still at a high level and then not let those nerves get to you when you're in Grand Finals. Oh, oh no, that's underfly. I don't think Shuleta was expected that connection. Hourglass might go for fatal here. No. Maybe he still has a shot. Never mind. Sets up a hard to blockable situation. And there it is. Kano Ball keeping Shuleta alive. Grand finals, baby. Let's get it popping. Already an explosive start. And Shuleta's going to get this hit in. Forcing the breaker out of Hourglass of Rain. Looks like he blocked low, but he got caught by the ball roll. Maybe let go of that low block for like a singular second. Switch the side. Hey, hold on. Another low hat set up. Good block from Shuleta. The sweep's gonna connect. And just look at that. Just gaining that distance. Backing away. Doesn't want to be in no Storm Cell territories. Just as I say that, he gets a Storm Cell combo conversion. Right back into the corner. You go. Storm Cell. Nice pickup there from the Kano Knives. And there it is. Shulata. Shulata taking Shuleta. Shulata taking game number one. This is what you need, Destroyer. I mean, this is Exactly how you would want to start off Grand Finals if you're on the losing side. Getting that first game in, doing so, I wouldn't say necessarily convincingly, but nevertheless, keeping your composure enough to close it out. This puts you in a solid spot, even if you're on the loser side of this Grand Finals against a competitor as tough as Hourglass of Rain. All right, I just got word from Ed Boon himself. He told me that the next DLC character is in fact not gonna be Homelander, it's not gonna be Ermac, and it's not gonna be Takeda. They said they got a special slot for Brendan Fraser's The Whale. So if we can get a bunch of Brendan Fraser's The Whale emotes right now in the chat, I would really appreciate it. Let's go! Oh, Waz was hyped for that. <laughs> I 
Yo, bro. What's up? Read the message I sent you real quick. Yeah, I, I, I DM'd you. I sent you, I sent you uh, a message on Twitter as well. Oh. <laughs> All right, gonna set up the low half of the hundredth time. Hourglass of Rage trying anything in his power to get this W and find himself in the finale of Champions of the Realms. The last spot here, only one of these two knuckleheads will be getting a, a chance to be a champion of the realms. Very nice. With the forward okay. four three, Hourglass looking to make this a quick and easy game too to tie this set up now. All right, that's actually promising because the last thing Hourglass of Rain would have wanted here was to go down two games to zero against Shuleta. Because then at that point, it's almost like you're 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 not making good use of this three game cushion. You feel me? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm a stupid idiot? You guys don't think I, I realized that already? Oh man, how many times I gotta tell you, bro? Alright, you know what? I'm pissed. I'm gonna go purchase myself the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X and I'm gonna get the Deep Cool AK620 Dark CPU Cooler. Anybody understand a single word that he just said? Or... You guys are picking the flesh pits, man. We gotta get more serious with this rule, man. Um, ooh, maybe um, maybe Di Dino Buzz, get Dino Bot to do something, you know? Yeah, yeah, we'll get Dino Bite to tell these stupid idiots to stop picking this. Stage, I don't know man. how we can get them out of the muscle memory of just hitting random from like on the stage, you know, like. Like, I think, like, some of these competitors, like, these guys, they know, but, like, sometimes, like, in the heat of the competition, they just forget about it. But, okay, anyways, they're on the flesh. It doesn't matter. This is grand finals. Our set is tied up, Destroyer. Hourglass of Rain. Two wins away from taking this tournament, but Shuleta also two wins away from resetting that bracket. But oh, no, 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 no. Keep us away from the Christmas tree. Keep us away from the Christmas tree. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, it's a fatal. That's okay. It's covering it up. It's covering it up. Okay, okay. This is the guy in the background, Chad. This is what he's saying every five seconds. He goes... Ah! Ah! is going to lead to the end of the round. Hourglass of Rain can go up 2-1 right now. This with Look the at him. Titan Molina looking like Katana. Look at Flesh Pitch Joe Biden. Look at the way he's looking at this match right now. The dude is unhinged. <laughs> and my favorite is when he does that little scream. He goes... <laughs> 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 I think they started adding <laughs> Christmas lights on him. I'm not even sure. What are those little green things on him? Are they decorating him little by little? Yeah. The next pack is going to be a full friggin' Flesh Pitch Christmas tree. No. I didn't know. What I do know is Hourglass of Rain looking to go up two games to one here. Um, the overhead connects into is. a conversion. That should be GG's, there man. It's the rapid succession oh, on the 50-50s that Molina's able to dish out is crazy. That's two games to one right now. Hourglass of Rain looking to be the final champion qualifier for the finale. Scary, scary position to be in if you're Shuleta right now. It is, this is tough. This is very, very tough. Being down two to one, your opponent's on the winner's side of the grand finals. You still need two wins just to reset the bracket. There is an insurmountable amount of work that Shuleta needs to put in right now if he wants to try and be the one to make it into our finale with this Raiden. Can he do it, Destroyer? Can he do it? Not he can. He, he, he definitely go. can. I mean, he's just too... He's got a game on the board. He, he's two games away from resetting it, right? Anything can happen here, and nobody has can count out Shuleta just yet. Shuleta the Chuleta with a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, good follow up block on the overhead attempt there, Shuleta. Reacting time. 
Ooh, a whole lot of flawless blocking from both these competitors. And she let that kind of smart, not often to go for full screen, maybe avoiding the flawless block so he can get that chip damage with the Storm Cello. So much patience, man. Both these competitors. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. I just, I'm just kind of anticipating what's gonna happen here. They're just taking their time. The movement from Hourglass as well is, in, is incredible. This dude dashed in to catch a throw just when Shuleta least expected it. Oh, the jump out! Does he get a punish? Dude, the there's throw. 17 seconds left on the clock. I didn't even realize that. Are almost full. See, he takes a round because of that. Wait! Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, the air ball rolls, man. And then another ball roll. No, he goes with a breaker. That is a lot of resources wasted for what? Yeah, I think he should have known when to throw in the towel there. He was not going to be able to come back from the life deficit that he had. Okay, try and gather yourself. It's tournament point for Hourglass of Rain, though, Destroyer. City right now. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a whiff punish there. Chuleta That's dodging right. a bullet goes for the overhead. The forward two twos are gonna be very clean here into the storm cell Kano pressure. Most for the full forward four string. Very nice. Oh, nice anti cross up from Hourglass of Rain. This is gonna hurt into the setup too. Oh, good blocking actually from Chuleta. He needed that. This is huge. I mean, Hourglass of Rain can still make a crazy comeback here. He's oh, got Fatal. No, no way wake up, Fatal! No wake way up, Fatal! No the, the forward two was right in his face. What is happening here? Look at these guys mashing for their lives right now. Oh my oh, god. Lord, this is it. The no, final no, moment. No, Caboose. No. Caboose, hold Oh, me. he just wakes up, Thunderfly. Shuleta's still alive. <laughs> what a maniac. I mean, in a situation like that, you gotta do you gotta do a little something. And I respect the hell out of that. Oh, He's still alive. He's still alive. I can't talk him over my breath. He's gonna hit the breaker. No meter for Hourglass or Rain, aka Brad's pack. Oh, is that lag? Not again. I don't Who's lag switching? Be... Who's oh, lag switching? Oh, oh, oh. Destroyer Chuleta activating the lag switch. Here's the damage oh my into God. the setup. Oh my God, Storm Cell, oh, of course. Oh, yeah, he had to cut that pressure short just to start getting some damage on the table here. 40 seconds on the clock. More Storm Cell chip out. Chuleta right now playing for his tournament life. He's staying alive. The pressure is crazy. Charging up. Oh! Shuleta no! trying to catch him out of the air, but he gets a punish off the ball roll. Of this could be the end. Don't oh drop. God. Don't drop. There it is. Oh We're my going God. to the five. Oh my God. I think he could have gotten punished with that whiff electricity. What the hell is happening here? My heart can't take this much longer. This is incredible. Shuleta. By the skin of his teeth, survives after the fatal blow with the the meter bird thunderfly, and that is able to secure this game to send us to a game five. One more win to reset this bracket. One more win to undo all of our glass of rain's work so far in this set destroyer. Well, that's the beauty of being winner side grand finals. You can actually afford an L like this, you know, and. The same doesn't apply to Shuleta, so the pressure is on Caboose. I think the nerves are gonna skyrocket here. We're about to see these guys playing like headless chickens. Get ready. No, absolutely, absolutely. Wow, what a grand final so far. With two of the most hated characters, you gotta love MK1. Well, Melina's not so much in the hate train, right? People cool with Melina. Very nice. Fat boy combos into the heart of block setups. He gets opened up. 
Right into more pressure. Shuleta just getting flustered here. He's getting suffocated in his corner, and that's gonna do it. Hourglass of Rain match point again. Kabuzi, you okay? Yeah. Good patience. A lot of running away here from Bofa. The throw is gonna connect. Pratback has a life lead. <laughs> Yo, do you see the lamps right now? The stage going crazy. <laughs> I love some of the little background items from Panzer. Dude, I literally for a second I thought Eagly was flying around in the background because of that. Okay, you let that landing the meter burn off of the No! Give me a second just I'm saying that our glass of rain is able to switch the side. Good tech oh there from God. trying to stay alive here, destroyer. He went for a dash up down too. To jump in. Oh, no punish for our glass! I mean Shuleta does have a breaker available just in case. He's walking Shuleta him down. He's walking him down. That meter more than ever. Destroyer blocks the overhead. Gets an overhead of his own. Oh. Blocks the teleport. That's that a punish. Massive. Fade of blow. Go into fade of blow. Right away. Okay. Right away. All right, Caboose. Now, the tricky thing about this next part <laughs> is he is gonna have one bar of meter, but Shuleta can lock him down with forward two two. The fatal blow allows him to get real oh meaty with it. God. The forward two allows him to get real meaty. Oh, he just goes for fatal. Did he do oh, anything? Oh, and it works. Hourglass of rain just yeah. wakes up fatal. He knew. He knew the meaty was coming. I am speechless. That's it. It's over. I am speechless. Hourglass of rain is your champion of the round for week eight and advances. He's our final qualifier for the finale. What an explosive finish! What a grand final! There you have it! Wow, and I mean, what a way to end it, right? This dude done twisted everyone's head off in this top eight with that fatality. And that's gonna be a GG. Every character's head he's ripped off through this entire tournament. My goodness, the wake up fatal. I could not think of a smarter decision to make in that position that Hourglass of Rain was in. He knew. He knew the pressure was incoming. The only thing that could have been scary is if he got hit by the Storm Cell early enough to, to interrupt the fatal blow. It didn't work out, though. And Hourglass of Rain, with the biggest move he could have made for the end there, to win it to take it all wow to become our champion of the realms for week eight an incredible top eight it was tonight incredible and, incredible and unbelievable grand finals between two competitors that poured their hearts and souls into every single game to shuleta yeah i gotta give a ton of credit and i hope we see him back for season three that well that's it caboose that does it we have the entire top eight for the finale set in stone now we just have to get together in a call sometime this week to try to set up this bracket and yep. figure out what the hell is going to happen with the prize pool. This so, was incredible, man. This was incredible. I, I have the list of names. You want to go over it? Let's go over the list of names, please. Let's see who are all of our you have the list now for this finale. Well, I have the uh, the group chat. Is that is that everybody? No, hold up. I actually made a tweet not too long ago. I have a tweet pinned with the uh, uh, the placing. So perfect. The perfect. first week was get wrecked week number one qualifier was get wrecked week number two qualifier winner was bandinos week number three qualifier was king gambler week number yep. four qualifier was the mighty, mighty unjust. unjust week number five was my name is pulse week number six was el kukui week number seven was elg marie and the final qualifier for week number eight our glass of rain I mean, just to recap on that, bro, oh if we go over these players, Get Wrecked Yo's Johnny Cage main, Bandino's is a rain main, Gambler Johnny Cage, Mighty and just kind of hops around the whole cast. Maybe we'll be seeing him play a Peacemaker. The character now, what's is extremely interesting, busted. Though, is Mighty Unjust and El Kukui are brothers. Yeah. So that, that already creates an interesting storyline for this top eight. Man, this finale is shaping up to be massive we cannot wait for it and destroyer 
When's it all going down? Give the people the answer. I, I when believe can they expect. I believe we have it set for uh, the next Friday coming up, right? I think it's March it's, uh, 8th. I think it's That's set for the right. 8th, I believe. That's right. March 8th, it's all going down. The final top eight from all of our eight weeks of competition with a prize pool nearing $4,000. And hey, don't sleep on it right now, okay? If you guys remember, this dude skipped him with the spirit bomb the day of our finale for season one skyrocketed our prize pool from somewhere like five thousand up to eight thousand okay so don't be surprised if this dude wants to run it back for season two right now the competition is already fierce but man the nerves could be high yeah if that seriously prize pool starts to get crazier and crazier if skepta wants the spirit bomb us again but yes march 8th it all goes down the top eight finale, eight weeks of competition all lead up to that. And then we crown our second season's champion of the realms. I mean, right now, show me in the chat, man, who's been enjoying the COTR action. You know, we try to host a, a really chill, intense tournament here for Mortal Kombat. You know, me and Caboose- <laughs> A really were... chill, intense tournament. <laughs> you like that? Listen, me and Caboose are huge MK fans. The whole reason we do this for you guys, you know, we don't do it for any other fighting game. We do it exclusively for NRS titles. You know, I've been a diehard MK fan since the 3D era, since the 2D era, back when uh, freaking all the characters were going crazy. But my God, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a part of another community caboose. This has been a wild ride, seeing all this oh, action yeah. unfold. And honestly, bro, COTR, it makes MK look good. You know, as much flack as the game gets, seeing it at high level, seeing these players rip their heads off, the hype is unreal. Maybe it's our commentary that elevates it, I don't know. Maybe it's just <laughs> the fun nature that we would create here for everybody. But my God, MK has been so hype recently, especially with the drop of Peacemaker, especially with the Quan Chi buffs. I'm yep. gonna say it again. I can't wait to see what happens when we start doing season three. I wanna see Quan Chi. I, I, I wanna to the see future. Peacemakers. If you play Mortal Kombat 1 and you got skill, sign up when the yep. right, when the signups open for real because you're gonna miss out on a spot you're gonna miss and, out on money and caboose is and gonna I mean, fart in your tweety eyeball was able to do that's a day two peacemaker if tweety was able to have like a month or even a week with that character to lab to learn the matchups to as well just unlock the full potential that that is going to be a character you're definitely going to see a lot of going forward the same way where people were sleeping on omni man day one people were thinking oh this character doesn't have the damage he just doesn't have that potential. And the next thing you know, you know, you got people like Deadly Rebel who just sneak up on you and do some explosive damage and have some crazy setups with the character. So I'm really looking forward to the future, what people can do with Peacemaker. And in general, yes. the future for the game. Like Destroyer has been saying, we're obviously going to be seeing some more quality of life updates. Hopefully, we're going to see more server stability. Eventually, we're going to get King of the Hill crossplay I mean, added bro, at some point. I don't know if it's me, but I haven't gotten kicked out of a single KOTH. Knock on wood. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Knock we on don't wood. ever experience that I haven't again. gotten kicked out of a single KOTH. The service hoping. has been definitely more smooth. But it's just been better. Real it's quick, been better. just a couple uh, a couple shout outs before we end this stream yes, here. Yes, yes, I'm yes. going to give a massive shout out to uh, all the viewers. Uh, a massive shout out to you, Caboose. You always bring the hype and you always hold it down on the comments. I truly respect you. Big shout out to Tower Temptures running all eight weeks of, of pools and hurting the goats. You stupid idiot. Yeah. Go I'm sorry. And <laughs> also, exclamation point, Match Reno. If anybody wants to contribute to the prize pool, we really appreciate every contribution to the prize pool. And last but not least, massive shout outs to Odin Sama. Let me go ahead and pull up their uh, website here real quick so you guys can check out their designs. Caboose, what happened? You you having a stroke? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? <laughs> you kind of froze. No, nah, well, you know, I'm like, I'm trying a new mime thing, you know? But check this out, chat. Odin-sama.com. They have a whole collection for COTR right now. My personal favorite design is the Odin Sama Champions of the Realms gaming t-shirt. Check this bad boy out, man check this bad boy out look at this in all its glory it's a sick shirt and not only purchasing this it, it uh goes directly into the prize pool it supports champions of the realms and at the same time you're gonna look so fly rocking this listen if you're trying to impress your lady if you're trying if you're trying to impress your man buy yep. this shirt wear and, it and they're gonna and know you you're a person of class now, 
then destroy because you know Odin Sama is such a sick sponsor for the tournament. Hourglass of Rain now is going to be getting a custom one of one piece of merch from Odin Sama, just like all the other seven qualifiers that made it into our top eight finale. Big respect, big shout out to Odin Sama for sponsoring yeah. the tournament. Love that merch as well. What he did with that Champion of the Realm shirt is so sick. You got custom merch from him as well. I'm still waiting for mine. You know, there's it's no pressure, Odin. You take your time, but you 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 gave Destroyer one, but not me, huh? All anyways, right, anyways, get us out of here. We really, we really, we had so much fun tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in for our top eight. Thank you for all the love that you showed. Tons of people who follow the stream, people who gifted subs, resubbed, subbed themselves. All the love and support that you showed tonight did not go unnoticed. We really, both of us, genuinely appreciate it. But we're going to see you guys next week for the finale, for the final top eight to crown our champion of the realms for season two. That is next week, March 8th. Be there. With that being said, I've been Caboose. This is my boy Destroyer. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Stay safe out there. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.